We are live for Friday Night Bricks number 43. We're going to be picking up probably after, uh, looks like Hauling and Balling just did a stream over there. So uh, they were doing uh, What's in the Box. So, I mean, if you don't watch them, they're, they're on Sunday nights. It's a great show. Uh, definitely uh, three great guys that do a great show. And they do have a guest poo at the end of it. So it's a great show, great show. You guys, everybody should watch. If you don't, go subscribe to Hauling and Balling. Uh, obviously for 43 tonight, um, you know, obviously if you, if you look at my screen, I actually have, I actually went, I was able to get in my storage today. I was able to pick up the wall sections. Uh, the tripod's kind of blocking some of it. Um, but that's actually, I actually set up some of the walls for the castle. So, uh, whoop. So, Looks good so far. Yeah. So that's kind of, that's basically, uh, so that you can see the transition, you can see the moats transitioning on the far side kind of by the tv there so that's kind of uh where the new mode will be right now you can still kind of see one of the wall sections over there that's kind of still kind of there um so we've got to shift that front section over so that's kind of what i'm working on um actually tonight actually i have uh one of the wall sections that i didn't have enough uh texture here i built the module for the center but i put the top on it so i gotta pull all that off so but uh you know pretty cool stuff um, so, well, basically here, I'm going to just go back out. Uh, let's see here. So, but yeah, so that's basically, I'm going to be working on it. Uh, M Lego, what do you got? You got a little, uh, Lego movie yes. set you're going to be working on? I have the Unikitty Sweetest Friends Ever. Yeah, I took some of the, uh, I took some of the chocolate pieces out. Yeah, and, uh, I, I heard you saying that last night. Uh, during yeah yeah I, yeah that's right I stopped on uh building live uh without brick vibe last night so yeah so basically and, yeah it was like a chocolate tree wasn't it yeah chocolate like, uh, you know i mean i'm kind of building some trees people have said that kind of would help so i'm gonna actually let's see if i can actually we're maybe gonna get rid of my face tonight a little bit so there you go uh yeah we'll see a little bit so this is actually gonna have to so this is, I'm just going to kind of take apart. I'm just going to take off the top. I don't need this. I need a, I needed a middle module. I didn't need a top. Top was actually, well, yeah. looks a little bit better. I'm going to just make it a, I'm going to make it a middle. I can always build a new one if I need to. So we're just going to go ahead and take this apart. At least take this off. So, yeah, I mean, it, I mean, I worked on a little bit last night while I, while I was streaming with those guys just to kind of get some of the, some of those, Modules away. Kim Bricks is in the chat. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. As we get busier later, I might go back and, and play a little bit more with the moat sections. Uh, just I need to move over and stuff. Hopefully, Butt Shop will join us. Sounds like he was going to be talking it up over there. So we'll see if he comes over, jumps on. Uh, Kevin said he might jump on in a little bit. He's getting some hot cocoa right now. Obviously, he's getting some snow out there on the East Coast. So. Um, they're getting actually a fair amount of snow, so he will probably jump in at some point. Yes. Um. Oh, and actually, see, I've got. Uh, and actually, so I mean, that's kind of those are the wall sections, so that you know, it's kind of nice to, you know, get a chance to to get it set up. You know, um, at least that way, I kind of know what I need to work on for. Um, whoop. Pulling off a lot of the upper layers, just have to go back through and put new ones down. Um, but yeah, it's it was kind of nice to be able to get into storage. I mean, obviously, I've been trying to get in there for I don't know three weeks now. Um, I was able to get in. I picked up all the wall modules. The gatehouse would be kind of helpful for when I get to that center section. Um, that way, I know where the other side is at too for the town and all that. Because the town's going to shift too. That'll shift, and then that. It gives me the ability to maybe if I want um, do them, you know, maybe have the moat go kind of maybe uh, a little bit in front of the town too if I need to. Wow, it took a ton off with this uh, front section here. It took off a lot more than I had anticipated. Oh, so oh, actually, I'm going to take this. This 
And a, a lot of what you'll see too, in a lot of my wall sections, if you ever, if you come to the shows where the castle's at, is the some of the wall sections won't have as mu quite as much texture as others, just for the just for the sake that um, over time I've actually um, acquired more black plates, so some walls get more texture than others. So. Mm -hmm. There are some interesting new pieces in this. Like uh, I didn't realize that this was a like a technic pin uh, for the arm of the ice cream man. So that's, that's, pretty, that's a nice piece. Yeah, and then there's also the printed piece for the ice cream, the like the little dish on top with the sprinkles. Here it is. I can I like how this one looks. There we go. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, and of course I've got to take the tiles and because uh, I got tiles on here that to help put the make the sections go together. Um, basically, I use uh, make it easy. I just use like uh, one stud on the corners, kind of. Uh, so it's not totally together. So they'll each level level will kind of come to come apart a little bit. Um, and actually, I don't know if many of the Colorado people tonight right now, and they might watch a little bit. They're doing a setup for the Rocky Mountain uh, Toy Train Show out in Denver. Uh, it's actually one of the shows I used to organize for the group, uh, but now that I'm no longer in Colorado, uh, someone else took that over for me. But that's one of our big shows. That's the first big show of the year for Denlog. Uh, actually, for Whistlog, I've already actually done two shows already. Um, it's actually I'm doing I've done a few more, which is kind of nice. Kind of like to do uh, one day shows. They did have a train show here in Madison, but they didn't. Uh, Whistler didn't do it, so maybe maybe next year, the year after, I might uh, see if I can get some of the group to go over to that. I do like the train shows. Uh, the setup time gives me a chance to actually put out the castle if I want, because with with about a six to eight hour setup, I can probably get a fair amount of the castle set up. Um, how that you, might be the goal. Huh? How do you transport it? Um, I've actually got it in uh, like those yellow bins over there. So it's in the yellow yeah. bins, like the 17 gallon and uh, 27 gallons. Whoop. See, my mom was wondering how I get how I make a mess, and pieces just seem to fall. So I got some pieces stacked here as I've been working on the uh, working on it. So basically, it's one of those things where. Um, it's not bad to transport. I'd like to kind of get wooden boxes, maybe some lightweight ones that would hold the castle a little bit better. They used to, they used to be in wooden boxes, the old uh, lug bolt boxes, and every all the modules fit pretty snugly in there. Um, but one of the Brick World trips I took, um, they didn't have the vans were too expensive, so I took a truck, and the truck I took was different than the one I looked at the week before, and so I actually most of the mo most of the Things had to go on the back of the truck, but because of weather and stuff, I would I need I had a tarp and stuff. Stuff could have still gotten wet, so I basically went out and bought some bins and transferred it all to that. So I mean they're okay, but they're like a slant they upwards. So there's a lot of kind of dead space so, with the lip for the lid and all that. You lose, you know, you might you might not might not seem like a lot of space that you're losing, but if you figure I got. 12 to 15 bins for the cat or 10 to fit 10 to is it 10 to 12 bins for the castle it kind of it eats up space in a vehicle pretty quickly so we'll see maybe this year i can get some uh some boxes made um, one of the gentlemen out in uh out in denver a member one of the founders of cowlug had made some wooden boxes uh, Dwayne, his boxes were cool mr hinkle draws and butt chop 2021 are now in the chat oh, yeah there we go Ooh, really, butt shop? You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to tell us how you got those. You know, that'd be kind of cool. I'd love to know. I'm sure you got your connections, and you don't have to divulge your connections. But you know, um, you know, I'm sure I can make it worth your while if you got one. Hey, Gallagher, Gallagher's in the chat. Yes, hello, Gallagher. So basically what you guys are seeing, I'm kind of working on, uh, uh, I got, I built a module a while ago. So I'm basically just trying to 
switch it out. Uh, the old module didn't have didn't have enough texture on some of the walls, and so uh, I actually rebuilt a new center module. But the problem was I built the whole top, or I built all the top, all the crenellations on it, so I had to take that apart. So. But Trap says he'll be in in a bit. Hello, MJ. That's fine. You know, butt shops, you know, he's not like me. He's got a wife. He's got, you know, he's got family. He's got to make sure they're all happy. And I don't want him getting yelled at. So, you know. Yep. So this actually, I'm sorry, I think I have a couple modules. Look at how many modules. There might be all some stuff I can take apart tonight, too. So let me look and see what we got. Uh, we do have, that's gatehouse, the walls. Corner, corner, all the centers are out. So I'm missing, missing a corner somewhere. There's one here. There's one there, but I don't know if that's the right corner. I could have sworn I built one and replaced it, but I don't know. Let me look here. So I'll be off screen for a few minutes here while I look for something. Oh, it's dragons. Also picked up my Saturn V. That was in my storage. Ooh. That's, that was, that's, that's complicated to build. That one's a big one, but that one I'm kind of saving. Um, I don't want to build it with someone else. I don't want to do it all myself. So um, Yeah. I, I if uh, somebody from the Whistler group wants to build it with me or something or whatnot. Actually, you know what? That corner must be the other... When I first saw images of the Saturn V, I knew I had to have it. So I started yeah. saving money for it, and now I have it. And now luckily, I got that one on a discount. So that one, I, I think I got when I still work for, well, I think it maybe came out when I still work for Lego. I can't remember. I don't remember when that came out. I think that might be one of the last things I bought, maybe. Yeah, I really like it. it oh, actually, I was, gone. I was gone by the time that came out, but... Um, mm. 17, yeah, I think. Well, no, wait, actually, yeah, I was let go at the end of 16. So, yeah, that, I must have just picked it up at some point. So, MJ Brooks is in here. Yes, it is a great display set. <laughs> uh, 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 nice, nice, gal, nice, MJ, you know. So yeah, so yeah, so I'm gonna basically be taking apart probably this corner module. I must have already taken apart a whole corner because this corner of the camera is sitting on must be one of the good corners because all the all the center modules are out along with the and if you look closely enough you can actually oh there's Kevin. There I am. Hello, Kevin. Hello. Do you get your hot cocoa? I have it right here. <laughs> Fresh off. So is it really, is it really snowing out there now? um it's going to start soon we have a storm we have a storm tonight and tomorrow morning a small one and then we have a giant one sunday wow all right I'm does, the wife to, uh, have to, does the wife have to work this weekend oh yeah well not sunday she worked she's working today and she's working tomorrow how far how far from the house is the store is she got a super long drive or is it not bad uh 30 minutes Really? Wow. All right, I'm, so, cleaning up, uh, I'm just cleaning up my stuff from earlier. So, so when you, so basically, when you move to Texas, she's gonna say, "I get the shorter commute now." <laughs> well, I mean, I can work anywhere. I don't need to live uh, in a certain place. So, yeah. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Is wherever she wants to transfer to or whatever, she'll be like, "Okay, now it's my turn to get the uh, the, the two minute to five minute commute now." You know? Yeah. Well, hopefully, if everything goes according to plan, uh, you know, she wants to be a police officer. Really? That's why she's uh, studying criminal justice, so you can be a police officer anywhere. Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, I'm just I think you can do a lot of criminal justice. I don't think you even have to be a police officer, but yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm just cleaning up all my stuff from earlier. I haven't been down here since this morning stream, so I got a lot of junk I got to clean up. Um, oh yeah, I watched, I watched a little bit of that. I actually remembered it was on, and I I turned it on while I was driving with the one guy, and we listened to it a little bit. And... <laughs> did did uh, your partner think we were crazy? 
no, no, because I think I think I've listened to some of that before. So oh, okay. Yeah, I've study hall um, at like about that time now, so I can actually watch it. <laughs> hey, that's cool. Don't don't ever feel obligated. I, I will not be offended if you can't see it or listen to it. It's not a problem. Yeah. So who was on? Who was on today? I saw a couple people. So we had uh, Chris, Christian on from uh, Chile. Cool. And then uh, Jason Brickbender Underworld. Yeah. And then I had uh, David Pagano from Paganimation. That's what I thought. That's who I thought it was. I'm just and making then, sure. Uh, also had uh, Joey Maniac from Bricks. Yeah, you had an all-star cast. Did you see uh, Hauling and Balling was doing an episode just a little while, a few minutes ago? No, today? No, I didn't see that. Yeah, they they were doing a they did a small one. I think they started at like six thirty, and so up oh, there's Butt Chop. He was in there. Mr. Chop, we're hyping up. Hello, we don't like no police officers. Mr. Chop, no police officers in the street. No, no cops. No cops. <laughs> For a cop. No. Uh oh, there's someone else in here too. Actually, you know what? Is that Ralph's yeah. streaming from from America? Where are you, where are you streaming from? America. America? Well, yeah, I thought maybe you were streaming from. I thought maybe you had gone up to the train show. I couldn't tell if you were at home or at the train show. So I don't think Ralph is there. I think Butchop is answering on behalf of Ralph. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, <laughs> well, well, now saying, Al Gallagher saying MJ Bricks, all these streams is turning into night owls. Well, yeah, know. because it's way past her bedtime in, in Great Britain. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. Sorry, didn't mean to keep you up beyond your bedtime. You know, that's terrible. Sorry. So, Rick, you, you were asking about my, my hookup. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're on the big screen. Let's, uh, let's, uh, oh, yeah. Now Ralph's oh. in here twice. Double Ralph. Double, double Ralph. Ralph. I heard that. <laughs> double Ralph. It's like That's double Jeopardy. The other one will probably drop off at some point. We though. got the we got movable Ralph and still life. There he went away. Still life went away. All right. Okay. Top, you are on the big screen, buddy. So I did pre-order the game <coughs> for my Nintendo Switch O. It says it comes with an adhesive patch inside there. Ooh. Patchy. Yeah, patch. adhesive, adhesive patchy. Patch. Is, is, it, is it something that will keep you from buying more Lego? Is that what I, it is? Yeah, I think it's like a, instead of a nicotine patch, they have a Lego patch, and you put that on, and then you don't feel the need. <laughs> The need to buy. Okay, that the sounds need. like. So then yeah, I, I won't be buying that anytime soon. So okay. then the guy goes, "Well, here's your poly bag." I said, "Yeah, that's why I bought the game." And I said, "What's the guy got to do to get another one of those?" You know? He goes, oh, "You know what?" He goes, "You know what?" Barely anyone pre-ordered, and we got a whole bunch. So why don't I give huh. you? Why don't I give you two more? I said, "Hey." Why don't you? Why? So he, he scurried into the back, grabbed me a couple more Starstruck Emmets, and I said, "Thank you, good sir." If you I'm gonna need, have to game stop tomorrow, I guess. If you need help getting rid of the rest, I'll be back. <laughs> wow! You, gave, you just gave him a little bit of that butt chop charm. I did. Wow! Butt chop is the man. Oh, there's Nick. Nick is in the chat. Welcome, Nick. Hello, Nick. Hello. Hello. There should be a bunch of invites floating out there. I did send out a bunch. Hello. Oh man. yeah. So that's good. So you, but you haven't opened the game or anything yet. You've just been. No, uh, I literally just. I was at work for overtime today, and I stopped, and I picked it up because it, it, uh, Lego announced or, or whoever's in charge of this said, you know what, we're gonna throw the street date over our shoulder as soon as you get the game in. Real, put it on the shelves. So GameStop put it on the shelves early. Oh, I might have you to go, go see. You can go to your local stores 
pick up the game because they said street dates, sweet dates. There it is. They said we don't need no stinking street dates. Boochop <laughs> needs Boochop needs his poly bag. That's what they said. The problem, is, the problem is I think it's only gonna be like on the, the newer system. PlayStation 4 is gonna get it, but the three won't. It's on so. yeah, one of the like the crappy Xbox, whatever the new thing is, Xbox is junk anyway. And then the newest PlayStation, and then of course the glamorous, the glitzy, the wonderful, the ever popular Nintendo systems, which if you don't have a Nintendo system, What's please wrong? leave the stream immediately. What's wrong with you? Then there's something wrong hey, with the host, you. The host can't leave. The host can't leave. Actually, well, you, know. and you, you ain't right. Well, then I need you to mute yourself, Reed, if you don't own a Nintendo <laughs> system. It's almost as bad as that one kid who never played Mario Brothers. I couldn't. Yeah, I, have, I, have, I have a Commodore which outranks Nintendo. Okay, your Commodore. I'll I'll let that slide because you do have a classic. You do have a classic gaming system. Thank you. But since then, Butt Chop, that was LJ, and since then, LJ's played Super Mario Brothers, uh, the original on the NES, and he's played Super Mario Brothers two now. Yeah, he had played that during the uh, during that stream. Where uh, hey. Hey. Chat bubble bricks is in the chat. Oh, oh Haley. Haley. Yeah, Haley, Haley, uh, butt chop will hold up his poly bags for the big Let's get those poly sacks. So, not one, not two, but 42. I mean, three <laughs> poly truck Emmets. I don't know how to do poly sacks. Get your poly sacks out, <laughs> and I like it. You know, you get your exclusive face, Emmett, the sad face. You got your exclusive star faces. You got your beautiful Nexo shields in a shimmering sand green. Action feature to boot. And Not to mention, it. You're going to have your game here, and that's going to be including a patch. In case you get a hole in your inner tube. Well, it is. There is a lot of snow around the country, so there are, hopefully there's a lot of people tubing. So that patch might come in handy. Ooh, I don't have that, Polly. Big M Lego. Oh, I don't know when I got it. I oh, always that, 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 that little tractor I missed out on that one. That was a 2018, right? Uh, I'm looking. Yeah, Haley, my guy, gave me extras because he said nobody pre-ordered it but me. He said, ain't nobody that big of a loser to pre-order Lego Movie 2 video game. I said, I am. And they said, well, here's some poly bags. Reason. I love the consistency of having to, like, verify that you really did it and prove it and fill a photo just to get one. And much I'll like, can I have more? They're like, take the whole case. <laughs> collecting bricks is in the chat. Welcome, collecting. Hello, sure, help yourself to anything in the store. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, Ralph, is that a giant mountain you're working on there, perhaps? Or are you just excited to see us, Ralph? <laughs> yeah, I'm not that's what it is. Uh, no, that's my, my uh, uh, giant mountain. 2017 uh, workshop. Oh, 2017. That's why I missed it. And I've, I've been kicking myself for it. But we, we can't interrupt Ralph. He's talking about his burps and <laughs> what he says that, that poly bag show her favorite team. I, I don't own any. Right? It's all about it's all about the poly sack. This is a good poly sack. Nothing wrong with a fresh poly sack. <laughs> yeah, uh, collecting bricks is here. Haley, that is Ralph in Colorado who has the giant mountain. Hence the Rockies. That's, that's right. That's right. Tap the Rockies. That's right. I don't know if he's got any Coors Light beer cans though in the, in the minifig hands though. He might have to get those. Oh, I saw. I was see. Uh, speaking of Colorado, I was seeing in the news over here that. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, the old mayor Hickenlooper is thinking about running for president. Yeah, uh, putting a bid in for it. I was like, I know that guy. I, I, used to, 
That guy used to be the mayor when I lived there. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't improved any. What, what, did he, what did he do after being the mayor? He did something else. I think criminal activities. <laughs> well, that uh, was during while he was the mayor. Sorry. Yeah, he, uh, he became the governor. Oh, he became the governor. Okay. Oh, right. yeah. Because he, he was still mayor when I left Colorado. So I was like, no, I don't don't criminal mayor. activities. I just didn't know what he was doing. But yeah, I saw that on the news and I was like, I know that guy. Doesn't mean I like him. I just said I know him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm aware of his name. Because everyone's like, oh, you, got, you guys are chums and you're like, no, 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 no. You're, you're getting it all wrong. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're well, Ralph, is that just is that got a tunnel in it too then or yeah they actually uh hang on for a second. I'll move the camera slightly. Ooh, Ooh, see yeah. that. Why don't you put him on the big screen so that the people who are watching who can't put him on the big screen can see his beautiful train tunnel because that's gorgeous. The foliage yep. and the there you go. Put him on the put him on the reed. But, you know, he's on, he's on the big screen. And I was going to say, Ralph, what are those weird green looking guys? He's there? not on the big screen for anyone but you. <laughs> the big that, those, you do not recognize those little green guys there? Which I thing? Is that Lazarus to be walking on the road? Because he's not presented. <laughs> that, that, uh, that's part of my scouting party. Those little crocodiles? Oh, yeah. Crocodile. I was gonna say, but isn't it dangerous to be walking on railroad tracks, or don't you have any of those safety signs around your? Track? Not when you're Cragger. Uh, oh, yeah, was, when uh, you are a crocodile, you fear nothing, nothing at all. I was just about to say, I don't think the normal rules of safety apply to uh, anthropomorphic alligators that have gotten off, <laughs> started to walk upright. <laughs> Collecting says Butt Trap is running this stream. No, I'm just trying to no. get Ralph. Beautiful. He has a scenic, gorgeous Lego build, and Reed refuses to present him for the people who cannot. Everyone in the chat does not have the ability to click on his little box and make him big. <laughs> I they can't present big in his box. I'm only He's seeing big. I don't know what you're talking about, Sean. All the people in the chat want to see the box big in. <laughs> yeah, Reed, what's your problem, man? Yeah, Please Reed, come come your friend Ralph. Come on. <laughs> Let's see, this hey, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the stream on on YouTube, and Ralph is on the big screen. So, you know. <laughs> I'm I'm right. Whatever alternate dimension you're in is wonderful. <laughs> uh, where's, the, where's Chester? Is Chester doing this? Chester! Chester's going to eat butt chops, so you better be careful. So, Well, I... Fine. He's got, oh, he's got his hands on. He's gonna do some boxing. He's gonna box with with Butt Chop's head. You know? <laughs> oh, oh, so is he really on the big screen for the humans? Yeah. And it just doesn't work for me. I have doesn't to work, work on my own. It's your, it's, hey, you know what, Butt Chop? It's that default of Toshiba you're using. You know. Toshiba. As long as he's actually on the big screen for the humans in, that are tuning in. Because that's a really nice uh, mountainside there. And I think yeah. I see a dra Is that a dragon up top? What? Who's up there? <laughs> who, who goes there? Who's up at the top there? Looks like a black there dragon to me. Yeah. Oh. Very you nice. You got, you got some trees there, it looks like, too. Wow, no trees. You don't see them often. <laughs> trees. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, it's where the where the where the winter leaves. Yeah, not since that clear cutting uh the clear, clear cutting of the rainforest. We don't see those. No, the clear cutting's on the other side of the display. You can't see that. That's that's the drop off. Is it a sheer drop? Would it be detrimental? Yeah, that's the <laughs> so that croc does not want to go to the top there and try to hang on the back. Well, behind the mountain, oddly enough, is a storage area. 
Oh, where I store trainers. Is it guarded by smog? Uh, not yet. <laughs> Smog's guarding his gold, so you know. Smog. Dude, Jude's in the chat. Dude, Jude's in the chat. Hello, dude, Jude. Well, here we go. Mr. Hinkle. Mr. Hinkle drives is like you are the child of butt shop and read are your parents fighting. Sweet. I love it. <laughs> Good evening, guys. I just Hi! Nick's here. Ah, uh, brick time. It is family time. Nick will keep the peace. Uh, are you, is your is your video on? No, it's not on. No. Well, now I suppose you can take Ralph off of the big screen. But why? I like it up here. Okay, leave him on there. Nick, did you see the in-depth um, interview with the designer of Hidden Side on Brickset? No, I didn't. <laughs> they I'm gonna have to check it out. High-res photographs of the sets and interview. Mm -hmm. Nice. I, I, uh, Buttshop sent me a, uh, a video I watched where it was at Toy Fair and they were showing all the sets. I sent you yeah. that video too. Yeah. Well, that's what I said. Buttshop sent me that video. I didn't hear that. I never hear when people say my name. <laughs> <laughs> I mentally block it out. That's because you talk so much that you don't <laughs> stop. I have to say, I, I, I thoroughly enjoy those sets. I figured you would not like that series. So. I don't know. No, that's, uh, that series looks awesome. That's not even Hi. something you'd be in. Hi, no. baby brickhead. What a baby brickhead. <laughs> yeah, that Hi, is a baby, baby brickhead setting. A wild baby brickhead has a pretty wild grass. It's a feral baby brickhead in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> Someone let me out of my kennel. Hi. So, hi. Hi. So, oh, my gosh. And what theme was that? Is that a new theme coming or something or what? It's a new yeah. theme coming. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Scooby Doo meets Monster Fighters meets uh, Erie, Indiana meets uh, Goosebumps meets Ghosts in the ah. Ghosts in the Graveyard meets uh, <laughs> Halloween. Uh, meets Monster House. Meets Monster House and uh, everything else that you can imagine. Yeah, I will say I, I kind of love the fact that they have a monster porta potty, a la Ghostbusters, the old uh, toy real series, Ghost, real Ghostbusters nineteen eighty six toys for the cartoon series of the right. same name. Where they had the monster that changed from toilet to monster. Yep, and they had the Volkswagen Beetle. They turned into a praying mantis ghost because you know yeah. people are scared of praying mantis ghosts. <laughs> Butchop, I am always a huge fan of your uh, insane knowledge drops. <laughs> well, I feel like sometimes they, they, they don't necessarily come out of nowhere because there is a trigger that makes you remember and say them, but it's like you'll have these moments where you're like, come out of play! <laughs> and then you're like, yes, in 1967 when that company released the <laughs> 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 right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I try to infuse entertainment with information. It's edutainment. You're like Bill Nye the Science guy. Yeah, it's, it's edutainment. Edutainment. It's sponsored by a grant from an, from these sponsors. Edutainment and the shop. <laughs> so did you finish that, M. Lego? You didn't show off the poly bag. All I see is... oh. Uh, I can grab it again. He already threw it across the room. He's like, get done. There's a huge pile of completed sets in the corner. Ooh, nice. I like where it has that roll bar on the back. So, like, someone can hang on while he's pushing stuff around. Yeah. And then it comes with, like, a little barricade thing. Nice. It's a cool-looking little tractor. Huh? That was a good one. I like how they have the lights connected onto the. Uh, yeah, I like that too. The plow feature. That's kind of cool. The plow itself can go up and down and uh, side to side. Dang. Yeah. What a gorgeous little poly. Yep. Yeah, I should build one of these star struckos, I guess. And then I can shut up and let and, and let everyone else have the floor. Nah, that's no fun. Oh. Okay, 
Let's see what I'm missing in chat land. Uh, you know, it's, uh, yeah, that's a weak laboratory MJ for the hidden side, but it, it, it will be cool to, to mod up or mock up and make it bigger. <laughs> it's a, it's a little lab. It looks like it needs to be part of something bigger, but that's the magic of Lego is that you can use your own brick to make whatever you like. Or possibly maybe it will hook to one of the other sets, possibly. Too, right? Maybe it's going to hook right up. The more you know. Maybe you can get the hook up, MJ. Yeah, but Chap, I'm gonna have to send the kids in the game stops tomorrow to uh, see if they can wrangle up oh, some yeah, uh, not, free nothing, bags. Nothing like using your kids. That's the best way to use them. Yeah, in their therapy sessions when they're older, they're like, and my dad used to make me go in there and and uh, panhandle for Lego in all the retail stores, and and the employees would shoo us out with brooms, and tell us to get off their lawn and stuff because. <laughs> My dad would say, "If you don't, if you don't get supper if you don't come back exactly. with a pound bag." Exactly. Get into that Barnes and Noble and get me those free, you know, mini builds. Hence, hence why now I am a criminal. <laughs> thanks, Dad. <laughs> so it's pretty nice. You get two faces with this set for your little star, and they are printed two by two tiles, and you get the. Let's see if we can get that on still store. SpongeBob. <laughs> so you get SpongeBob. Yeah. Uh, Logan loves SpongeBob. Oh, so you're, gonna get, you're a SpongeBob fan, right, Nick? What's that? You're a SpongeBob fan, you and your family. Oh, definitely. Did you see they're doing SpongeBob spinoffs? Uh, I I seen that they were talking about it. I didn't know if they were. It it's was... real. Nickelodeon announced it. Spinoff television shows from SpongeBob. Really? There you go. Yeah, I guess Patrick's having a cooking show. <laughs> uh, there's the sad face. So. so you get the it's so cold face and the hooray. Yeah. It's so cold. And and the star piece is very nice. Kim Steve says we should change it. Change or or petition to get butt up to host reading reading rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look. It's in your don't take our word for it. <laughs> see, what these, see what they have to say about it. Read it for yourself. Let's see what these kids thought about this crappy book. <laughs> All right. Let me bring my camera on here. Even though I'm not YouTube ready. Everybody. Oh, goodness. But I, I do have a cover on my, my book now. Oh, oh wow. wow! Check that Ooh, out. Look wow. at fancy schmancy. Yep. A lot of good parts in this poly bag. Can I open it. How did you? How did you do that? Is that a sticker? Yeah. Did you yep, take yep. that to FedEx office. What's that? No, uh, that this is this is the office of where Daddy Brickhead works. <laughs> Oh, oh, you can like print stickers out like that, like on. Yeah. Uh, just is it like uh, you bought printer paper or sticker paper and? Put it, it was whatever they had at the the office there. Wow. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm gonna send you some things, and you print them out for me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Come to Nick's Kinkos. Oh, you got uh, a couple of my stickers there, there, uh, <laughs> Kevin. I did. <laughs> What's the email I just got from Kevin? It's the entire encyclopedia, starting with the letter A. <laughs> if you could just print that out for me, that'd be real slow. I haven't gotten a paycheck in years. My company found out I was printing stickers for Kevin, and <laughs> 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 my family is so hungry. Send food. <laughs> he got fired for helping out Kevin's print out stickers. And then, but the best part is that I'm just print. I'm um, I'm collecting those all, stapling them, and selling them as encyclopedias. <laughs> yeah, you're going door to door. <laughs> Pasta's in the chat. Welcome, Pasta. Hello, Pasty. Pasty. Hello, Pasta. Yeah. So these these Unikitty uh, figures is that what you want to call them? Um, are pretty cool, Nick. But they're also like crazy unique. Yeah. Like I I. Believe me, I try to think of various ways you can use parts, mm -hmm. but 
I'm like, okay, this is an arch piece with a star shirt and like pants. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, you're, you're not gonna do much with it. I can't never use this for anything else. I don't, I don't think I finished collecting all the all the Unit Kitty ones. What do you need, Reed? <laughs> I'll, 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 once I once I dig them out, I'll let you know. I am really. I know well. a guy. I, w I went I went in storage today, but uh, the, my goal is to get the castle and get my Saturn V. I only have ninety six of them to get rid of. So did you get into your storage? Yeah, I got into it today. Oh yeah, I was a happy yeah, camper. Yeah. As you can see over there, the castle wall. I only have two, and that's the uh, Dino Kitty and uh, the Sick Kitty. Yeah. So look. All right. So that Dino Kitty. The one by three green plate with the two little eyes, like even that. I mean, maybe you could use that for one little one time. How about you just keep your Unikitty built and you don't, Kevin? You know, look at this. Yeah, look, it's my eye, it's my eye on my face. <laughs> hey, that looks, hey, that looks just like you. Yeah, Hello, you yes. hey, what did you eat today, Kevin? Because now you're a Cyclops, you better not eat any more of that. Got it. Check. I, I just find it funny. It took me 96 packs to get two full sets. That's crazy. Oh, because you can't. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. No, that makes sense. There's no feeling to that. Yeah, man. There is a slight. Did you find some on sale somewhere at a good price, too? or? Yeah. Yep. Yep. I, yeah, I got them for 50 cents a piece. That's insane. Wow. The lowest I could find them was $2. And I could only find two, and that was those two. I got them so, so, at full price plus a dollar. No. <laughs> so I, uh, I I took them to that comic convention that we were at, and I was selling them for three bucks a piece, and people were actually buying them. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but you know what everyone kept up coming up and saying? Oh, at least I don't have to yeah. you know, risk the chance of getting duplicates because yeah. I only yeah. needed so-and-so, and you had it. So, You're, so in, in essence, you were a hero. Yes. I was saying that that day. Yeah, I picked up a second set of the uh, overstatement of the year. You heard it here. <laughs> Nick the hero. <laughs> We're ripping off people at a comic. <laughs> yeah, you should have seen some of the prices some people were trying to get off of fake Lego. Come on. <laughs> we were oh, selling we were be, selling real Lego. If you're gonna be a, a scam or con man, go all out. You might as well do the whole thing. <laughs> do the whole shebang. <laughs> and while you're <laughs> while you're selling, you should have a trench coat, a long curly yeah. mustache. <laughs> right. You want this authentic fake Lego? <laughs> real <Nope>. cheap. <laughs> we were selling our, our one dollar poly bags for three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> So it was still cheaper to buy it from us than going in the store and buying it. Whoa, if that lets you sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever helps you get to bed, Nick. In the, end, in the end, I didn't have to pay for my own Lego, so I'm good. Hey, Kevin, did you uh, open uh, all the figs? Uh, which ones? The movie ones? Yeah. Yep, I did. I did. open them up, uh, put them all together, enjoyed them. <laughs> Has everyone thought about their what slots they want for the seventy-two hour stream? We're we're trying to give we're trying to give the prime time slots to the uh, important the uh, the you know the big bangers. We want the the hardcore all inclusive community. We give our prime time real estate to the big people. <laughs> yeah, to the shot callers. <laughs> Well, it was like we had, we had the noon slot last year, a Saturday noon slot, and we couldn't get anyone to come into our room with us. That's sad. Well, it's the middle of the day. People are taking their siesta. Hey, well, in all fairness, Nick, you count as like 10 streamers. Uh, I guess, right? You got family. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's like 42 of you. Of you. Well, I'll, take the, I'll take the Friday night. Oh, oh God, that makes sense. <laughs> But hey, actually, keep your calendars open, guys. May third, May third will be the one year anniversary Friday Night Brick Show. So. Whoa! How many? So you haven't missed. You missed like one, right? I missed the Brick World. That was it. The week that of the, the Brick only, World. That's the only one you've missed. That was a good reason. He had Ebola. Yeah. It's hard to kick the Ebola. Oh, Man, this year I'm on a stream from the auction. I think this year. Okay. 
find some good co-hosts that want to, you know, help me. Uh, <gasps> Ooh, you actually answered, Dad. Blood Shop's pretty okay. good about uh, forecasting the weather at Brickworld. <laughs> and in other news. <laughs> at Brickworld. <Yeah. laughs> that was still awesome. That was fun. That was a long time ago, but it really wasn't. Yeah, it feels like it was four years ago. It feels like an eternity. So much things have happened and stuffs. Yep. Oh yeah. Lots of stuffs. All the things, all the stuffs have happened. <laughs> yeah. Reed Reed only missed one because he got the lurge. That's a that's a British sickness that you, you probably got, Reed. We learned about it in our Saturday morning stream. Our our Brit people come in and teach us about different things that you only can get in Britain, like the lurge. I'm feeling a little allergy. <laughs> um, yeah. Galligate in the chat was asking me if I got the inside of the book done. It is done, and uh, I will show it off in a video that's coming out this weekend. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. At, right after this commercial break. And, and hey, you and two. don't take our word for it. <laughs> Listen to Nick. <laughs> don't take our word for it. Da, da, da. Watch Nick's video yourself. Exactly. Hey, or don't hit that it. subscribe button. <laughs> Delegate's tasking is it butt chop the groundhog? <laughs> I don't know. The groundhog up there in uh, Wisconsin ate the mayor or something. Yeah, well, who wouldn't? Ate the mayor. Our mayor is delicious. He's made out of pancakes. Yeah, we <laughs> vote, we've all voted for a pancake mayor because you can smother them in butter and syrups. Delish. <laughs> Think about it. You've been sleeping all winter. You wake up, the first thing you see is a man made out of pancakes. You're going to bite his face off. I, what's happening? I don't know. <laughs> this is an alternate <laughs> reality. We've been swept into an alternate. What place. is happening? <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like it's breakfast time, but I know it should be Friday night, so I don't know what's going on. You know there's alternate timelines that are going at the same time as ours, and you can slip between them sometimes. This might not be our dimension. That's right. Every I time do that, I do that in my dreams. What are you talking about? Every you know, time you make a decision and you say yes or no, that other timeline, that other version of you made the opposite decision. Right. No wonder I'm poor. Damn it. That's why I try to make as ludicrous decisions as possible so that the other timelines are pretty much normal. There, there's like another butt shop that lives his life in a suit and tie and yeah, exactly. a CEO of a company. and Right. I'm just looking out for the other butt shops because I want them to have good, wholesome lives. <laughs> That's actually pretty scary, actually, when you think about it. Yeah. Not really. It's actually really polite of me. <laughs> no, just... Just butt chop in a suit and tie just is pretty scary. Probably won't have to ever see that butt chop. That butt chop is somebody else's problem. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe that other butt chop is a world class like streamer with 15 million subscribers. Yeah, I should hire him as my producer. Yeah. <laughs> this is mirror mirror universe butt chop. <laughs> Bizarro butt chop. <laughs> but. Butt chop M happy today. <laughs> well, that was fun. Did everybody go all like every person is on mute now? <laughs> well, probably because they're like, this is if we're in a different dimension, they're probably like getting under their desks and 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 like curling into a ball, you know, like they think it's a nuclear bomb. Um, I know? think I left my stove on uh, in a different state. <laughs> oh, yeah. About the uh, parallel dimension thing, gotta go. Gotta get out of here. Oh, actually, hey, Rick Costas says Butt Chop is the CEO of Lego in a, another dimension. I'm thinking. Oh, you know how fun those sets would be. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. We gotta go to that dimension and get some Lego. <laughs> Over there, they never signed any licensing agreements. It's still homegrown IPs. Yeah. Woo! Fabu land as far as the eye can see. Oh, yeah. Johnny, <laughs> Thunder. Johnny Thunder, Jack Stone. Yeah, Jack. Yep. Jack Jack Stone. Stone. There's no <laughs> such character as Emmett because that's Warner Brothers. It's all uh, Clutch Powers. Yeah, Clutch Powers. Lego Space is, you know, now on its, like, you know, 40th year. It's rocking the world. Yeah. 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 
There's UCS Mtron sets. You know, yeah. like that. <laughs> we're just gonna make people like want this reality. Right. People are gonna be like trying to 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 tr transfer to these other dimensions to find this stuff. If you find it, let us know. Well, you in all, all yeah. pretty cool. In all fairness, if we follow the rules of Star Trek, it's pretty easy for us to go to the other uh, reality as often as we want. <laughs> right, and it usually happens when you don't want to. It's all oh, great. <laughs> Another transporter accident. When right you're here. like, okay, everybody, do your best to try not to go to the other dimension. And then they're like, oh, what, who did something? We're in a different dimension. Oh, we're back in another dimension again. It's an alternate timeline. Who did something? I didn't do anything. <laughs> and oh, Galligade wants to know when you're building the Lego store, Butt Chop. When? Yeah. Whenever you want me to, Galligate. There you go. Because when I do it, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to mod it right away into a modular size. Well, it's going to be on a 16 by 32 base plate. Should fit right into Butchopolis. If you give me five minutes, Butchop, I'll build mine with you if you want. Oh, really? That would be so cute and fun. Let's do it, sweetie. <laughs> Let's do it, sweetie. <laughs> Is that the name of your city, Butchopolis? Yeah, Butchopolis. That's great. That's just great. Yep, Gallagher goes, I think you need to call your city Butchopolis. I said, I don't have a city. She's like, well, when you do, and I said, I guess all these buildings on my table count as a city. I guess these buildings with this street and these cars. <laughs> and these, oh, yeah. yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> when it's actually unveiled, though, then she wants Indigo to do the ribbon cutting. Oh, very nice. You do not, MJ. Blacktron was better than Mtron. Well, Blacktron 1 was better than Mtron. Blacktron 2 was inferior to Mtron. Here we go. And Jujude, stop agreeing with Rick Hopkins. Traitor. <laughs> okay, you know that's Tomato Temple? What? You know that's Tomato Temple? <laughs> Yeah, I totally missed the second half of your show today, Kevin. I know this stupid meeting. <laughs> I missed the whole thing. I was at work. We we laughed because the second we hit the in button and it it switched to off air, your comment came in the chat like, "I'm back." Oh no! <laughs> exactly. I, as soon as I got back, you guys were like, "So long." Goodbye. <laughs> Nick's gone. Let's go. Yeah. It's <laughs> okay. It's okay. I'm gonna yeah, dump all this clear. Yeah, I did. I did help out Vicky. I showed her how to do the the bra the brass tacks, the bare bones of streaming. So she should be all set up. I just didn't. I couldn't help her with OBS because I don't know anything about it. So, who's this? Uh brick after brick. Uh, Vicky Lego Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said Lego Rick. And now you got to make sure you follow it up with an insane fact. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I did not trade you hardly anything, MJ, for that. Rick Blaze. Rick Blaze. Rick Blaze. Are you on your way to go? Are, you go Are you gaming, Blaze? Stopping by to say hi and drop a like. That's what he always does. Says he's gonna say that in a minute and drop a like. <laughs> so predictable. It's still nice. It's the thought that counts. How shop you got? You're opening the box right now. Yeah, I just sliced her. You guys gotta dump them out at the same time. Hold on. Wait, Wait, okay, okay, Lego Rain, Reed. Are you doing a contest to see who can build it first? No, but I'll no. win. Oh. Lego <laughs> Rain! You, you, go, you guys know, but I'll win. <laughs> Ready, butt top? I, I gotta put it back in. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> ready? Three, two, one, drop. <laughs> I don't understand why. If it's not a contest, who cares? Like, what, who you? I don't. I don't get it. 
what you want contest is that what you're talking about you know, if it's not a con like why does it matter if you guys drop it out at the same time or because it's like new year's eve it's the ball dropping okay all right Gosh. fine Ooh, the look at some team white brick. oh brick blaze mixed it up a little bit and he dropped the like prior to the same stopping by to stay high look at this guy he is a like you never know what's gonna happen with Blaze. You left a message too, so that's always good to hear. Yeah. You Leave know. a message at the beep. Hi, Brick Blaze here, just dropping a like. You never know what this guy's gonna do. Nick is just sitting there with a headset on. Luke a, like a sports commentator, waiting and watching to see what what butt chops next move will be. I thought during the second polybag wars. Uh, Kevin's commentary in the chat was like <laughs> so spot on. I want to make a video of that with yeah. someone doing uh, uh, what's his name now that escapes me, the, the sports commentator, the famous one, doing his voice and reading Kevin's yeah. chat messages. Uh, that would be pretty good. Howard Cassell. I need yeah. someone to do Howard Cassell reading uh, your chat with his the video of the Polybag Wars. We, you know what? Speaking of Polybag Wars, I think we're due for another one. No. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like sounds like fun. I'm gonna have to go out to storage again, I guess. <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna give my mom another heart attack. Hey, let's wait until let's wait until next. Actually, wait. Let's wait. Uh, we'll have to wait a week until my mom's gone so I can bring in. <laughs> my parents are going away for the weekend. <laughs> bring the kegger and all your poly bags. Uh, get all your poly sacks out. There's a, there's a poly rager at Reeds. <laughs> <laughs> we, could, we could probably do that, but, uh, you know, that might be the one thing is my mom would probably call saying, hey, I thought I said no friends, and I'll be like, yeah, um, no party party. friends over my parents came over early. Everybody hide. It sounds like a Beastie Boys video. Yeah, everyone's clutching a poly bag in a closet yeah. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mom. Oh, you're over early. Uh, yeah, we're not. We're just nothing. I just was hanging out, you know, with myself. It's not what you think. It's not what you think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We, we are sorry individuals. <laughs> It's not what you think. It was poly bag wars. <laughs> I knew you'd do the poly bag wars if we left. That's why we came home early, honey. To catch you red handed. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Chester's parents are going to come home too. Like, yeah. Two bigger stuffed squirrels and be like, yeah. we're disappointed in you, son. <laughs> Ma and Pa squirrel. <laughs> I thought we taught you better than that. Quick plays goes, you gotta fight for your right to <laughs> poly. <laughs> my mom threw away my best poly bag. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it sounds like you gotta do the you gotta do the uh, weird Al version of that, I guess. Yeah, we'll fight for your right to party uh poly Lego version. Yeah, we're just gonna A fall a bunch of um, <laughs> songs yeah that might be that. interesting here write that down brick pasta so i don't forget we'll have to do a, a parody <laughs> At he's, real, he's, he's my life coach oh nice yeah life coach nice life coach This oh, is stickers. Whoa. Should we get to the awkward silence? This is this is nice. I'm building. <laughs> Old people. So you know what? Take take over, Nick. And there's no such thing as awkward silence. Silence is one of the most beautiful things in the world. It can be deafening. See, uh, right. the, the transition the chop has between the insanity and the like meaningful <laughs> knowledge and or limericks to enrich your life right. are just one right I, I i see the numbers that those asmr people pull <laughs> right? silence is golden mm -hmm. <laughs> i am going to just sit here and eat potato chips there you go and then boom a million views <laughs> million subs million subs right? you know and i'll put like six hours into a video editing down as and i get like 100 views maybe 
you get a negative you get negative 20 views <laughs> youtube takes it down because it's over edited uh youtube youtube's way over problems right now so what else is new believe yeah. it or not i just edited a video recently it's uh waiting to be released uh oh yeah nice cool. are you gonna premiere it no it's oh. supposed to be released with two other people are supposed to be collabing and i'm the only one who finished my video which oh. is very weird but the reason I did it right away is because if I didn't do it right away, it would never be done. <laughs> Hitting trees with sticks just hit 3,000 subs. Well, yeah. Bye, Blaze. Ooh. Bye, Blaze. Thanks for dropping that like. And I'm off to find food. He's a hunter-gatherer. <laughs> Got to find some food. <laughs> Kim Kimchi Brick says, I'm starting to think that some of these vintage sets had some toxic gas that is infecting the panel. That's for sure. I don't know about all that. Maybe. I don't know about all that. Yeah. I might believe that a little bit. I really don't think people having fun has anything to do with toxic gas, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, this, this is a useful printed element. This, uh, uh yeah, sprinkles. Mm, delicious. That is useful. Hold on. Pull that again. It right. looks like a, it could be a big donut, like uh, like Homer would definitely like that. Mmm, sprinkles. But then again, in that the corner, this one by three red plate with Unikitty eyebrows. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be useful. Let's see if I can line it up with my face. <laughs> hey, yeah. It's it's there a little too, it's too. You wild. should get those tattooed on your face for real. Yeah, okay. shave your real eyebrows and get those <laughs> tattooed. Shave your real eyebrows and put. Them. Yeah, shave your inferior eyebrows and get uh, Unikitty, Angry Kitty ones tattooed on there. Uh, Rick Bossa says there was a Lego channel he was watching the other day, and then and they smelled the bags promptly after opening them. Oh, that's, yeah. that's common practice. You gotta get a good whiff. Yeah, that's like that. Was it that Saturday Night Live chick? The oh yeah, yeah, her? yep, yep. <laughs> oh yep. yeah, her armpits. Yeah. When I get really nervous, I put my hands in my armpits like this. Yeah. <laughs> so this Lego store sells friends sets, junior sets, city sets, creator sets, and they also sell Ninjago sets. Oh, fun. That's good. Now, are those stickered sets or are those actually printed pieces? Uh, stickers. stickers, if you're mm -hmm. paying attention. I wasn't. I was not. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't really trying to be mean. I've been being really mean to people lately, so it's it's like second nature. I don't know if you guys have met a lot of the humans that live on this planet, but whoo, some of them need a good uh, a good talking to. <laughs> Sorry, I've been on enough Julian streams to know what the what to take. Oh, dang! Oh, that, just oh, 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 oh. that just happened. I've learned to take the abuse. That's that's uh I don't really want to abuse you. It's part of the process, Nick. I'm I'm right there with you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who he's more rough on, you or me, so well it's like a transition, you know. You have to like <laughs> there can all there can only be one at a time. <laughs> you know what the key is? If you stop coming to his things, then he gets all upset and then he he uh will be nice to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's the key. Yeah, you gotta play hard to get. You guys are too easy. Gotta play hard. You know, why, you know why buy you know why buy the cow if you're getting the milk for free? You know what I'm saying, people? <laughs> <All right. laughs> Blowing my candle out will not make your candle brighter. Exactly. I like that. Right. I like look at that hand. It's it's it. That's why, that is why Brick Pasta is the life coach. 
life coach, master. It would be funny to see Iceberg do an on the ice box about Brick Smith with just clips of him talking about Kevin and Nick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I, 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 said, I said almost something very similar when I was like, man, he's so mean to Nick in every stream. I'm like, <laughs> oh, like a, a compilation clip of all the shut ups. Oh, that would be an hour long <laughs> film. That could be a feature length film if we could compile all that. Yeah. You'd have to hire somebody because that would be hours and hours of footage you'd have to sift through and, and compile. Wow. <laughs> yep. I it's hope you're good. watching now. Is, I, has anyone sent him a message to watch this? Please do. He <laughs> <laughs> would just say, shut up, Nuke. That's we it. should make him compile the footage. Hey, you did it. You got to... <laughs> Watch yourself. <laughs> so, is the city sets blue? Yes. Yeah, actually, it corresponds to pretty close to the stuff that's in the store. Well, I know, but I just don't like that the blue and purple look exactly the same. Yeah. So now I'm second guessing if I did this. <sighs> Friends would be a purple box. Stop. I I understand. But when the color looks identical, it's never mind. So you, any of you guys want that Mustang? I do. No. I am Lego does. Am Lego does. You heard it here first. Write that down in your journals and diaries. I think it looks pretty cool. It's a car. I'll pass. It's I a mean, car. You like that kind of stuff? It's gonna mm. be good. I mean, how many more Lego cars can we actually get? Come on. Four million. They'll be making that long after the world has ended. Lego will still be pushing cars out of their fact. Lego cars out of their fact. Lego is the number one tire producer. The they will have they will have automated factories still producing Lego sets of cars long after humans don't exist. It'll be like Wally. Yeah. <laughs> like a robot thing where it's like. Uh, same thing about uh, modular buildings, though. I guess if you if you wanted to say, ah, how many more buildings can you get? I think the car, like the amount of of Lego sets that are you build a car outnumber modular buildings by far. No, no. Well, yeah, cars in general for sure, but like big, bigger car sets like that, like that scale. Oh yeah, no, not not like the UCS cars. No, you're right. You're right as usual, Kevin. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, with, with those big cars, you know. They're not even, you know, there's no playability to them to where you could use your minifigures with them because they're just so d dang big. Right, and wheels. Wheels are so hard to, like, push along. Like, uh. All right, that's cool. I, I thought it was, I mean, I'm not a big car person. I really am not, but I thought well, was, Only a real big car person would say that, Kevin. Right? I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not, I, I'm really, guys, how can I convince you that I'm not into cars? Is there I, anything I can do? Anything. It's all a front. Uh, <laughs> I, but I do want to support the fact that it's an American car and not like the last 20 European cars. <laughs> okay. That's true. But America's not cool, dude. <laughs> Brick Boston goes, cool. goes, you can put babies in those larger cars. Yeah. That's where I store all my extra babies. I think, no, that says Barbies. <laughs> oh, Barbies. Uh, I, I guess my rum and coke is kicking in already. I, I always store all my extra babies inside Lego cars. I was like, that's an odd thing to say. <laughs> you can put babies in Oh, those you know, cars. I read it too. I go, babies, Nick. You know what the funniest the thing is? <laughs> is? Now, Kevin, you thought it was odd, and I thought it was like one of the most normal things anyone could have ever said. <laughs> like, I was all like, yeah, that seems good. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Yeah, babies, yeah. for sure. I didn't even think about that. I'm getting the Mustang now. <laughs> I have all these babies strewn about, and I don't have anywhere to store them. If I get that Mustang, <laughs> why not? Is this, is this like a, a bad uh, infomercial in the making? Yeah. Do you have too many babies? Yeah. Do you not know where to put them? Try Babies Be Gone. <laughs> babies Be Gone. It's a Lego Mustang that stores your babies. Do you ever your wonder where your stray babies are? Do your stray babies get into everything? <laughs> 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 Are feral children ruining your house? 
<laughs> it shows them like eating the wall, like eating through the drywall and stuff. That's funny. Get babies be gone. Babies be gone. Pay, pay attention, cameraman. I gotta write down babies be gone because that's a really good. Brick, brick. Yeah, Brick Possum got a funny little mad face right there. <laughs> Come on down to Butt Jobs Basement of Babies. <laughs> a free Mustang with every purchase. A free Mustang with every baby. Free Lego Mustang. <laughs> Limit one for household. Come down to Butt Chop's Basement of Babies. Baby yeah. Emporium. We buy, sell, and trade fresh babies. Also, not so fresh. <laughs> Are those the ones with the uh, with the tainted diapers? Is what you're yeah, the say? ones that have soiled themselves. We'll take them anyway, but we won't pay you full price. The tainted diapers. Yeah, the ones who made a present that isn't so much a present as it is a tarry stool. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, only parents know what tarry stool is. Oh, God. I was not, you know. You weren't prepared? prepared. For I, I wasn't tarry prepared stool. for that first time, no. Look at Kevin left because of the tarry stool. Yep, that was one of the first ever parent surprises that you'll come across. Right, because you're like, that's amazing. Oh, what is that? What? In the... I saved all my kids' Tari stools. Oh, <laughs> what? You can't get that back. That's one of those moments you never get back. Yet. You can't yeah, you, replicate You put that, that next to your, next to the placenta, right? Yeah, you can't replicate that later. Like you never. What get in that the moment. world are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's back. <laughs> what is happening? Saving what? placentas. What is happening? <laughs> they're very nutritious. <laughs> and they're easy, easy to pickle. I heard it's like a steak. Yeah, you pickle it. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> Nothing. I have to do a best of Friday night break. <laughs> Just, just do, just feature this episode. Done. <laughs> These guys taste like pancakes. They taste like. Mm. Pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> you, Brick Pasta says this is all from a misread chat. <laughs> yeah, this all started because of putting babies in the. That's the all it takes. Yeah. Uh, but seriously, Pasta, who talks about Barbies? <laughs> <laughs> then she says, "Well, this will save me a few calories at lunch." <laughs> yeah. I hope I'm putting these colors on right for the pick a brick, but it really doesn't matter, right? You can just do whatever. As long as the colors are touching. But how would I know if they all look the same? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Make sure your same colors aren't touching horizontally or vertically, and you'll be okay. Oh, I wouldn't want to get fired from my own house. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll be the pick a brick wall looks horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> you get fired you get from fired me, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> if it was only that easy. Um, just so that it might help me, how many different colors do they give us for this wall? Uh too many because there's some extras. Uh Is one, two. Three, four, five, six. Is orange seven. one of them? And are any of yep. the colors repeated? <laughs> uh, green is repeated twice. Yellow looks like maybe three times. If I did it right, I might have done it wrong. Oh my gosh! This is not know. for Let's see humans to build. <laughs> uh, let's see. Green is retort. Green three times. Yellow three <laughs> times. Blue two. Red two. Purple too, uh, light blue too. Trees of green, blue skies too. Kimchi Brick says the basement of babies is okay, but the wife draws a line at touching colors. <laughs> we got rules here. 
We have a strict rules down here in the chat basement. I'm assuming that one's a thing that I already used. Bingo. This really isn't fun. I thought Lego oh, was bad. Happy Fast was here. Oh, he missed all the excitement, you know? You missed everything. <laughs> Find it a little bit. You'll get the good stuff. You missed everything. I don't even know why you bothered to show up at that point. Yep. Good night, everyone. Hey, we got it, folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. I don't know how it works. See you later, folks. And then you float away in your balloon. <laughs> uh, Goodbye. 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 I don't know how to make it work. <laughs> <laughs> um, is the do the reds repeat in the same row ever? Uh, no. They're, not they're, di they're diagonal touching, basically. Okay, it's diagonal touch. touch. Thank you, Diagonal Touch. This is like yeah. a puzzle game that sucks. Okay, where's the... Thanks, Keep oh, Ass, for joining us. That sounds like one of those inappropriate Karma uh, Sutra, like a Diagonal Touch. <laughs> 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 it's like, what are, what's going on? <laughs> Kevin clips in for that, huh? That was Kevin. That was his. That was my shining boy. That was his moment. <laughs> Just saying, it was. It was an interesting. Yeah, it was like ah, uh, going in for the diagonal touch. <laughs> okay, so, there's, there's a little Hank. Little Hank is in here. Wait, little is Hank there is blue showing. and purple. Don't cross the street. Yeah, that was on tonight. I'm never gonna finish this until ever. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, my little one was homesick yesterday, so I stayed home with her, and I, I watched Ghostbusters all day. Ghostbusters one, two, and the real Ghostbusters. You're not supposed to watch Ghostbusters. Yeah, you know you're not allowed to watch that, Papa. <laughs> you're not supposed to sit there and watch. Papa, it all you day. Are bad. So, so, so is he helping you sort there, uh, Mr. Hank? He's taking apart clean whatever. Mama, you've been bad. I want to be. Mama, you've been bad. Is it a leprechaun? That's a horse. <laughs> it's a leprechaun. 2020 <laughs> Ghostbusters movie. I'm looking forward to it. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Where's the Hoosier tonight? Where's Hoosier? Who's who's I never heard of him. Is he a new 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 YouTuber or something? <laughs> he might be. He's new to the scene. They're uh actually they know that they're not allowed. I did send out a little uh message with your uh, invites to certain people. Uh to the old streamers. Yeah, the old streamers. I said you're not welcome, and they said, Fine, you win this time, butt shop. You're the best. I love you. This You're is the, the rise best. of the new kids. Always a sign of uh, when, you, when you follow up with "You're the best." <laughs> Fine, you win. You're the best. <laughs> and I don't know why they said that. It's just, and I couldn't make something like that up. You know what I mean? Like, how could you even make that up? So obviously, I'm telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best. You're the best. <laughs> I know. Talking to girls. No. Talking to girls. <laughs> Hi, hello. You guys are me. Lady butt chop. Lady chop. Lady chop here. Like, does my bald head give me away? Yeah. Who <laughs> has no hair? It's Mrs. Lex Luthor. <laughs> Lex Luthor. Yeah, yes, that's... I am Mrs. Lex Luthor. Mrs. Lex Luthor with the headphones. You're Mrs. Lex Luthor. Me? Yeah. I wish. <laughs> I wish. I wish. I've applied for that job so many times. They don't even take my applications anymore. Yeah. Are any of the colors used three times? Yes, green and uh, yellow. 
Butchop sent out the anti-links right after sent, Reed sent out the invites. <laughs> <laughs> These are the anti-links. They were basically like, where did they lead, though? That's what I want to know. Where did they, they were lead? like, don't even bother to show up messages, basically. If you know what's good for you, you'll stay out of it. You see? You see? Remember what happened last time, right? You remember how your kneecaps felt, right? Well... <laughs> Let's just say it wouldn't end up well for you if you was to be into the stream. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I would I sure hate to see an unfortunate accident happen. But let's just say things wouldn't go in your favor, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you wouldn't be the happiest yeah. camper around the campfire. Am I making myself clear? <laughs> you wouldn't have to exactly put no bricks together anymore. <laughs> Just ask Kevin on, on how Chicago worked for him. <laughs> he ended up in the trunk of my car. You know what I'm saying? Ex yeah, ex that, well, truth. <laughs> Took a little ride to the south side. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's how he gets picked up at the airport. Trunk. Tommy, well, two people know, has got him. I'll get pictures of him. He's got to worry about the paparazzi. Frank, get bag of donuts. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I think I think you should probably get yourself, you know, pay someone for some protection. You're gonna need it. I that I can't believe that that spread like wildfire, like it did. That Kevin was locked in the junk of somebody's car at Brickworld. Really? <laughs> I didn't even believe it when I heard it. I didn't even hear it. <laughs> How? Probably, probably standing right next to him, so no one figured to tell me. That's, Reed, that's because you hang out with Tight Lips Tony. If you would hang out with Loose Lips <laughs> Loose Lips Larry, you'd find out all the skinny. You know what I mean? Loose Lips Larry. You still with Tight Lips Tony? How's he doing? <laughs> How's, hey, hey, tell his mama I said hello. Tell his mama I said hello. I love her sauce. Tell her I love a sauce. You got the best sauce. You know what I'm saying? You know what? what was worse than the truck was the, the discontinuation of red two by fours, man. <laughs> that still that still creeps up every now and then. Does it? It's nice. still, every now and then it still comes up. Yeah, I I've seen a couple of people take a hit, you know, you know, watch it. So I'm like, oh, it's still 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 spreading around. So man. Chop, you find you finished that pick a brick wall yet? Yeah, that put me about an hour behind, but yes. You know, I just said whatever. I just started putting uh, studs on there. I don't. I can't sit there and play their little game. I can't play their little game. <laughs> Trying to make a fool of the chop on live television, huh? Well, let's see about that. <laughs> Dude, you said, took a long walk off a short pier. Yeah, exactly. Took a short walk off a long pier. You know what I mean? Had a good, good little afternoon. Got a knish. You know, a knish. <laughs> a foot long. I had a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the opposite of the of the long walk off the short pier. It's actually just saying, like, enjoy your day. <laughs> <laughs> he just kept on walking. You know. You know, catch a fish, hang out with the boys. It was nice. He took three steps and he was like, man, this is a long pier. A long pier. I got to <laughs> sit down. I'm getting older. My knees, you know. I need to sit for a spell. My knees. <laughs> <laughs> I sat down. I fell asleep. I didn't know. <laughs> they don't call me Jimmy Two Steps for nothing. <laughs> Jimmy Two Steps. I can't walk more than two steps without losing all my breath. <laughs> I'm you to get a fight. I swear. <laughs> no, they said, give me two you steps. Give me two ball. steps, baby. I like how Lego puts an ATM on the outside of the store, like basically telling you, like, if you're going to come shop at our store, you're going to want to stop at the ATM because we are taking every penny you have. <laughs> Cash like, only. They're saying, like, you're going to need to use the ATM. So we're going to uh, need you're going to need to use the ATM because our registers are guaranteed to go down right when the line starts. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's Y2K every day here at the Lego store. Nothing <laughs> works. It's because there was a winter storm in the headquarters. There was a winter storm in Singapore, so our, our, our internet's out. <laughs> <laughs> Find more truth than that than you would actually believe. Than you would actually, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, I, I've been, I've been keeping up with my uh, forever starting. Yeah, uh, yeah, forever setting boring is going pretty good, man. I'm, I think I'm caught up. I think. Yeah, because they were talking. About, or Kevin was saying how, uh, like, during a snowstorm or whatever, that the computers would go down. Yeah, yeah, that happened. I believe that for some reason. <laughs> so you could be down in Arizona and get taken out by a snowstorm. I don't believe a lot of stuff, but that one sounds real, people. That one sounds pretty real. Probably almost got to be getting time for more... Uh, Special guests on that show up here pretty soon. Uh, yep, yep, that's boring. <laughs> that's in the plan. I hope you're using the word special lightly. Well, it depends on how special those people are, I guess. <laughs> well, I'm sure their moms, everybody's mom thinks they're special. So no matter who comes on, it's going to be a special guest. <laughs> My mom says I'm special all the time. My mom says everything mom I do is perfect. special for the wrong reasons, but that's okay. She said I'm my perfect, mom. just the way I am. My mama said, my mama said, my, my mama said. <laughs> um. Well, it looks like we had Ralph drop off. Oh, oh, yeah. He's kind of his his streaming area sometimes isn't the greatest, so it's possible that did happen. So, and also he couldn't get a word in edgewise. <laughs> yeah, we got that chop in here. That guy just won't shut up. I hate him. Hey, what are you what are you building, them leg? Um, so I'm trying to like kind of give myself a challenge and basically. Like, I have unsorted bins, so I pull one out, and then I just try to build something out of only that bin, and I'm trying to build a mech, so. It looks pretty nice. good. So yeah. bored. I built um, this um, last time I tried. It's like a trice, trike type of thing. That looks pretty post-apocalyptic, man. That's what? Yeah, it's kind of Very what I'm going for. I think this was the day I saw the Lego movie too. So Oh that is, inspired. that's my favorite part where they're like custom vehicles, custom vehicles. Yeah. The dude Jude said, I am very special. Thank you. Well, thank you, good sir. You are southern gentlemen. <laughs> Not everybody rubs themselves down with uh coconut oil and does videos on YouTube like me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and thank goodness for that, right, people? Thank goodness right. everybody does that. That we're was a TMI, way. I think, right there. That was a that's we're batting a thousand for every time I come back. Oh my God, <laughs> right. Okay. Let's just say we've lost a lot of viewers, <laughs> and it wasn't just from that statement. It's everything. The whole combo, the kit, the and whole kit and caboodle. Must be the baby. Must be the baby. <laughs> so if you want to see me lathered up in coconut oil, go to the Brickhead family on YouTube. <laughs> All of a sudden, Reed loses like 20 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our show, everybody. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> all right. I, I don't work out, out at all. And I'm, I think of myself as kind of flabby guy. But I've had people like message me. They're like, Oh my god! I didn't know you were that ripped. I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> no, no, I'm like, I, I should rub myself down with coconut oil more often. <laughs> the correct response is, you go, yes, yes, I am. <laughs> Bubba Bricks goes, what did I come back to? Coconut oil. Since when is being malnourished being ripped? 
So <laughs> <laughs> when it's being malware. <laughs> or, or 10 cents a day, you can sponsor a brickhead. Look how sickly he looks. He's ripped. He's ripped. <laughs> Come on, Sarah McLaughlin, start playing a song for yeah, me. Shoot those flies away from his eyes and let's get a good look at those ams. <laughs> <laughs> for 25 cents a day, that's less than a cup of coffee in 1942. You can help Nick. Get the nourishment he needs. And it's the. It's the uh... It's the rock, the rock star, Daddy Brickhead clips in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's wow. buy this guy some clothes. Uh, he looks pretty bad in slow motion. <laughs> oh. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, wow. All right, so we've worked the gambit tonight. We went from placentas to uh, coconut oil. Uh, yeah, we did. <laughs> but deep, but deep, but deep. That's all, folks. Yes. Bubba Brick, when I just come back to coconut oil. <laughs> Sorry, Bubba. <laughs> Subscribe now for 12 easy payments for your exclusive Brickhead workout plan in your own bottle of coconut oil. Yeah. Play me off. Play me off. <laughs> Oh, right. like hey, Nick, it sounds like you're going to have to do that for, you know, special subscribers on your there channel. There we go. Yeah, go to our Patreon page, and uh, for every Patreon, we will send out a coconut oil bottle. All you right. Are right. Start right. Start Start a workout. Smash that like button. <laughs> you, might have, you might have to put, like, custom labels on there with your ripped body on it. Yep, put over exactly. the top. Actual one. Now ring that notification bell. <laughs> <laughs> ring a ding ding, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Bubble brick placentas. <laughs> you missed the baby be gone skit. We did yeah. the baby be gone skit. It was classic. Yeah, it was one of their best skits. Come on. It was one of the best skits on this show, man. That's that's still debatable, but uh, <laughs> you don't have a lot of running gags, but that's one of them, folks. Mm -hmm. That's one of the running gags, yes. That's what you get. That's what you get from us. I don't even know how many people are still watching. I mean, the chat kind of slowed <laughs> down. Yeah, one viewer, Kim Chi and Bubba. How many of you people are still there? <laughs> Who would even watch? Blink hey, twice if you're still there, please. Who's watching should be ashamed of themselves. Just like totally make the audience feel bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah shame them out. <laughs> <laughs> you make me sick. It you says there's ten, trash? but <laughs> who watches this track? All right, I wouldn't even watch it. Come on, I wouldn't even watch myself. It's that bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that I didn't do right. <laughs> I'm looking for a thing with the stuff. Okay, got it. Yeah, I need to get that that set. That looks pretty cool. Which one? The, the, the store? Yeah, we have we have two Ooh, Lego stores. We have the one that came with the city square, not city square, maybe the city square. I don't know. It's a big city set. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what David was building today. Yeah, yeah that's what, I, yeah, he was building that one today. And we also have one of the, the micro builds for the Lego stores that were just opening. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've got, I've got, I think I've got a, uh, what was it? City square. Is that what he spilled today? Uh, I, yeah. got I hope you said city. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was talking about your square head. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> I don't get it. Reed. Don't He's get from it. Wisconsin. He's not funny. Okay. People. <laughs> B Bubba ran out of here like Wiley e. Coyote. Yeah. <laughs> That's all, folks. Like he said, placenta. I'm out of here. I have standards. <laughs> yeah, I will not watch this yeah. trash. Rain check. He just got so. Uh, hey, if my shaming works, that's really good. Kudos, Bumshot. Mm. 
Hey, we're going to make two of these windows read, okay? Huh? You make two windows, two. Two windows, maybe. No, for the top floor. How far are you in the top floor? Sir? Read? <laughs> he gone. Uh, How many yeah, windows? What, what? What are you talking about windows? There's no windows in this store. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, MJ Brick says, I like interpretive dance, but potentially less embarrassing. <laughs> Not sure about all this. Uh, we, we we prefer to be embarrassing here. Freeform comedy over. Is there any other way to do it? <laughs> I just want to get this. This set is quite intensive, actually. Uh, Kim Chi says, I'm just having a drink every time Nick says placenta. Might have to go to the store for a new bottle. <laughs> <laughs> placenta, placenta, placenta. I live in a liquor store, and there's no more. There's nothing left to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Am I missing? Is Kim Chi new, or is this like no. someone we know that what they... Kim Chi's been around for a long time, man. Really? Yeah. I do not recognize you really that. Aren't, you really are disconnected from the community since your 1,000 sub thing, huh? Uh, I'm not even subscribed, so now I am. Oh, my gosh. Jeez. You're a disgrace. I know. We still take, like you. Take my AFO card. <laughs> your AARP card. It's mine. <laughs> also known as Brick Songs. Boom. There we Brick go. Brick Songs. I know him as Brick Songs. Yeah. Basically a pillar of the community. I was not too sure of the kimchi. Kimchi! Wow, this is kind of extravagant. It is at that. It's kind of nice. It is a nice little storefront here. Can't wait to mod it up and give it a little girth. <laughs> give it a little girth. Is that what you're saying? Mm hmm Okay. Just was making sure you were giving your, your all girth face, you know. <laughs> girth face. Okay. Let's see here. I don't know. I'm getting there pretty close. Pretty close. Yeah, you're on the roof, man. The roof. The roof. It's you're got on the a roof. brick on, got a brick on the top, you know. That pick a brick wall sent me back a few. <laughs> ding 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 ding. Whee, it's done. Good I got job. lots of extra pick yeah, I got lots of extra pick a brick wall parts. I got a little extra mini fig. A little uh, micro fig, I guess. Oh That's nano cool. nano. Nano what, what are the nano figures that they put in there for you? White. Uh, they did the, the little white one, this guy. Oh. Oh, actually, technically, they like to be called Caucasian. <laughs> Only they can use the word white, I think. Yeah, I'm still debating on opening up that uh, minifigure factory because I want the figures that are in there. Oh, yeah, you get Pixel. Oh, yeah, I actually, I traded for that one, so I've got one of those, too. Yeah, hey. I, I, I traded a police officer for it. Well, MJ, uh, yeah, that tile is really neat. And so it's probably the closest thing we'll get in the near future to any uh, Forestman, actual Forestman sets from Lego. So I guess we'll take what we can get with a one-by-one -one printed tile. Better than nothing, right? I'm surprised Lego doesn't do like a greatest hits type of line where they'll yeah, just all your out. favorite hits in one three compact disc set you know throw out a castle set throw out a forestman throw out a well, classic they, space they could do like a legacy collection and yeah. and and then have it not be a, the exact like not the exact but like how they do with ninjago where it's like yeah. a modern take on an old set exactly they could do like a legacy, a legacy theme, and it could just be like modern takes on the classics. They actually Let's do a legacy uh, metro liner. They did a product line called Legends, which was 
many, many years ago. That's where they uh, brought the Metro Liner back, yeah, didn't they? They brought a couple. I mean, they brought like about 10 or so products back for the Lego Legends line, and it actually performed extremely mm -hmm. poorly. Um, but really? then again, that was in a totally different decade. Uh, that was that came out, if I remember right, at a low point in Lego's career. Yeah, it wasn't exactly a great time to try it. Like there wasn't all the hype and love that there is since the first Lego movie came out. I think that movie skyrocketed them to a point where a, a Legends line would actually be doable. You know what yeah, I mean? I think it's, or, it's worth or, experimenting again. But since Lego is one of the, they always, if they try something and it doesn't work, they never touch it again. They're scaredy cats, and that's the problem. Well, I mean, I don't know if I would say that. I would say when things don't work, they tend to forget that they didn't work and then try something very similar-ish, but not the same thing, thinking it's totally different and thinking they've never tried it before. Like and, Taj Mahal. What's that? Like Taj Mahal, huh? Well, I just because I've noticed over the years that I'm like, this is interesting. You're releasing minifigure scale Hero Factory sets. You do realize you released a minifigure scale Bionicle set a couple years ago, right? And they're like, no, we don't. We didn't do that. I'm like, you did. Um, and it'll be like, we're going to do an online game based in a universe, uh, kind of like Minecraft, but it's going to be Lego Worlds. I'm like, you realize we had Lego Universe, right? Which was an online world. Where you're like, no, it's just totally different. <laughs> like, well, okay. Uh, so I feel like they kind of, it's not an exact repeat of mistakes, but they tend to not learn. It seems like they make, it seems like though they, they repeat failures and then, but some of the stuff that they tried and didn't work the first time that was actually maybe viable. They don't try those again. They just no, keep trying the one. I agree. I agree with that completely. I agree like, with that. So they'll try something that potentially it was just the wrong time and place for but could be, like, would be right up the the market's alley yeah. now or, or later on, and they don't try it again. They're like, that failed. But then they'll take something that bombed and go, let's do that bomb thing again. We should bring back Snap. Like stuff that, yeah, they'll bring back stuff that never had a chance no matter what, what time or place it came out. It would have never worked. They'll bring that back. <laughs> Something that had no place ever being made. We got uh, we got iceberg bricks in the chat. Iceberg, we were we were mentioning you <laughs> earlier. <laughs> we were saying that we need a what was a request from the chat to have a uh, in the free zone with Brick Smith being mean to me and Nick. <laughs> <laughs> the berating and the harassment needs to come out in the open. <laughs> These poor young lads have been treated like this for far too long. Well, yeah, all, all these old Lego YouTubers are taking us youngers down. I wasn't well, please think of the children. Uh-oh. Is it done? Are we wrapping up? No. no. Sunk my battleship. Yeah, pretty much. I sunk it. Oh. No, no, I was just playing for the fun. I actually threw a, I threw a, di I threw a blue dinosaur in the, uh, in one of the bins at the Lego store. Threw an ice bear in the front and an well, ice bear in the. That's store. just silly, Reed. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't go there. That doesn't follow the instructions. It's okay. I can always go back to sorting this nice big bag of uh, clear from that tower. <laughs> what? Oh, look at he's got the ice. Ice. Or it could be something else, too. Just, you know, make sure you know. I do like the way these <laughs> windows are in here. Are, are we breaking bad on uh, Reed's channel tonight? <laughs> oh, we're, we're always breaking bad. <laughs> All right, Mr. Mr. White. <laughs> Iceberg picked up the, uh, the Mustang. He's ready for gone in 60 seconds. Already got the Mustang, huh? Did you get that uh, keychain? I want that keychain. So how do you get the keychain? Yeah. Buy the Mustang. 
Like, is it within a certain time, or is like whenever you buy the mustard? No, I'm sure it's limited. It's probably you got to buy it within a certain date. Mm. Hyper rare. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he got it and a bumper sticker. Hmm. Oh yeah, I saw I saw one of the uh, a picture of the bumper sticker floating around, but it was in Danish, saying uh, my other car is a Mustang. Oh, 150 bucks for the Mustang, huh? I can think of a lot of better things to do with 150 bucks. Like buy it. Look, think about how much coconut oil. I know, right? That's a lot. 150 dollars. That's a lot. That's a lot of bottles of coconut oil. I'm just going to get subscribers and have them uh, pay for his coconut oil. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> and that's part of the paid subscription, you know? Yep, exactly. That, that's, the, that, that's the Patreon page. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You get to see me lather up in coconut oil. Yep. <laughs> Special special Lego bottle, Lego brick built uh, bottle for your coconut oil. Yeah. Yep. It's going to be marketed. Yep. I've got some clear bricks. Use some clear. Is Chop even around anymore? Oh, he muted himself. I was wondering yeah. why it became so quiet all of a sudden. Yeah, everyone muted themselves. Oh, <laughs> for 150 bucks, someone can uh, I could pay for somebody to apply it for me, probably. <laughs> oh, Bubba's saying, "Oh no, the coconut oil! I see a slip and slide in your future." Oh, that's interesting. That's a video idea. I'm down for maybe, that. Maybe a slip and slide into the pool at Brick World. Yeah, man. Yeah. There we go. We can get bet that one. We'll 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 pass that through the guys at Brick World. We'll be like, okay. No, let the myself start, up. <laughs> start of the boat race, you know. Well, there we go. I did pick up a couple more pontoons at the uh, local uh, local St. Vincent's. Somebody had said, "Hey, they got Lego over there." Someone over there, and I, I mean, they they had some bags, but I mean, the bags were expensive. There was a bag for like thirty four fifty. It had two Tie Fighter wings, like the old blue ones. I was like, "Well, that's mm -hmm. okay." But the cockpit was in like another bag for like twenty seven fifty or something like man. I says I don't know if that old tie fighter is worth that kind of money. There was a bag with some parts for the old Republic cruiser, and I was actually going to see if anybody was trying to if anybody was trying to, you know, rebuild one of those because it did look like it had some of the engine parts and stuff on it. But but yeah, I mean a lot of it did look like it was mixed. So there was some you know, <clears throat> I don't know. Fake Lego with the Lego, so I was like, mm. eh. Not a lot of it, you know. There were some sets, but the sets were as is. They like a Benny spaceship and some stuff like that. But it's like, you know what? I don't want to chance it. I mean, you know, for a set, because then if it doesn't go with any of the figs, I mean, it's not worth, you know, because I mean, I think the set, I think the Benny spaceship was only like a hundred and wasn't it only a hundred something anyways? Uh, so they were twenty, I thought, right? Well, see, and they had it for I think even more than that. I think they had it for like a hundred and. 125 or 130 and i'm like man that's just and you don't even know it's a full set yeah you know it's as is and i'm like it, you know yeah um they did have a what looked like a sealed bionicle game from 2006 and i'm like i sent a picture to my one of the guys that i used to work with out in out colorado because he's a big bionicle fan and uh he was like wow that's an old game i go yeah so i mean i was thinking he was gonna say buy it but he didn't um, but I showed him Kevin's last shirt, the Bionicle shirt, which I think I have right here, which I bought because it, you know, actually I just, I stayed on the subscription. This one's kind of cool because it's like a nice purple. So that, mm -hmm. that new Bionicle shirt. Bionicle yeah, that's a pretty sharp shirt. I like that one. Yeah. So, and I just got charged. For the, I appreciate you. I just got charged for the, uh, the next one, wherever the next one is. Yeah. I saw the Lego movie. Huh? Yeah, it's a uh, Lego movie plus Planet of the Apes. Nice. Oh, okay. I'm still waiting for the uh, the the one to to make it to Amazon. I'm gonna pick up the uh, the Black Siege Barracudas. Oh yeah, uh, the the Galaxy Explorer just went up uh, today. Hey Nick, you gotta make uh, sure you the, get one of these. 
Did that means the, uh, the pirate ship should be next month. It should be the first of uh, April. Nice. Nick, did you get this one? The uh, the nine volt one? No, no, that's sharp though. I like that one. Is that orange get, or is that yellow? It's orange. You'll have to you'll have to pick it up because I plan on bringing um, some hammer beer with me that actually has the same kind of logo. So I'll be bringing that to Brickworld so we can nice. sit around in our shirts and drink the beer that inspired this shirt. <laughs> nice. That sounds like a good uh, a good marketing photo. There you go. Oh, Dan Roth is in the chat. Welcome. We'll have to sit around the pin log uh, table. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because what was funny is when I saw oh. that beer, it's brewed in Monroe, Wisconsin, uh, down south there, and I saw it. I saw the box of beer. And I'm like, wait a minute, that looks just like Kevin's logo I'm, or Kevin's shirt. I'm like, I had to message him and go, "Hey, Kevin, was this an inspiration?" <laughs> I assure you, I had no clue. But it would look really cool to be drinking beer that looks that the logo looks just like the shirt at Chicago. It'd be kind of cool. Yeah, that's cool. So do you guys have any uh, ideas or preferences for a Lego set that I should base the next shirt on? Because it's time for me to design the next one. I was mm. thinking of something one day, and I can't think of what I was thinking. Mm. Uh, I, I, I say you got Monster Fighters, but I'm thinking you need to put that towards October. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to kind of do another like classic theme, like maybe like Forest Man or something. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Um, trying to think what else. Like a Men in Tights type of ripoff. Something. I try to do something clever every time. I'm not necessarily successful each time, but. <laughs> uh, you get dude. Jude says Blacktron. I could definitely do a, a black. Uh, yeah, Blacktron. Well, Bubba I mean, says I'm, Rock Raiders. Oh, that's a good idea. I think I want to wait a little bit. I mean, there's a lot of space themes, but I think I want to wait a little bit more before I do another space space one. Would Rock Raiders be like a mix between like rock and roll Rock Raiders? Yeah, what would I do for Rock Raiders is a good one. I'm going to add that. I'm going to add that to the list. Power Miners? Yeah, Power, mi power, power Miners. Um, those are some good ideas. Good ideas. How about, uh, how about uh, Clutch Powers? Oh yeah, no. There definitely has to be a Clutch Powers and a, eventually a Johnny Thunder, and eventually a Jack Stone. Uh, not not a Chase McCain. No, Chase McCain too. Yeah, we got to get all those unsung heroes. I'm trying to what else would be good for classic? Um, yeah. How, how, uh, what would a Fabulan like not hit the mark on anything? Oh well. That would be a good one, but I think I'm going to – I want to do a bunch of, like, super iconic, super memorable classic Lego before I do some more obscure ones. Uh, I put Fabulan in obscure. Obscure. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be an obscure design. Because I actually was thinking of doing a, uh, a Jack Stone, but um, I was like, no, I need, I need to do some more, like, super strong – Iconic themes before I go another super obscure one. I got to keep it balanced. Yeah, um, Jack Stone was before my time. Is, is it like a... Uh... Jack Stone is the worst. <laughs> Jack Stone was how about, like... How about, how about a take on that, on that old uh, idea book? Remember uh, 6,000, remember? Yeah, as a shirt book? Was... Oh, well, with like maybe the house or something. You know, um, yeah, Tom and Sally. Nick, uh, Jack and Sally Stone, or Nick Jack Stone was like uh, he was one of the many lineage of Lego IP heroes, and uh, that was like the off-brand looking. Yeah, Lego it figure. was. It was the bigger blocks, like the four junior sets. Mm -hmm. Um, kind of eerily similar to the current four junior sets. Uh, Bubba said click it <laughs> for yeah, the ladies. Well, there's now, did, have, you done, have you done a Fort Legorado type kind of shirt already, man? No, I haven't done a Western. You already did a Western? I have not done a Western shirt. You I've done a Western. Western. Oh, Haley, are you oh, in here? Haley. I'm, I'm in you. Park, did I hear your voice? <laughs> 
Hello. Yeah, it would kind of look cool if you if you did like Jack Stone. And do you ever watch the show Archer? Um, no, I know what it is, but no. Uh, that kind of design, like the Archer design. I heard the word Western and I joined. Yeah. That's <laughs> uh, one of my goals is to try to have a different style with each each look or each shirt. So you could you could do see if you did Western you could still kind of almost promote a little bit of your Aces Wild too at the same time. Yeah, which I think would be kind of cool. Is there? Did it, did there's any others in the chat or was it? Let's see. Uh, yes, Johnny Thunder, Click it. Imtron. An Ogle shirt, yeah, Ogle Alpha Team. Get a little Alpha Team in there, maybe an Alpha Team shirt. Agents, you could do Agents. Agents is kind of that's not super classic, but Studios. Ooh, Steven Spielberg. <laughs> you gotta get the dinosaurs in there, man. The old dinos, like the super old ones. Yes. Those are the best. I, uh, I'm at a point every time I. Anytime I ordered uh, from a new Brooklyn store and they had dinos, I rescued all of them. <laughs> I will save these. You're welcome. I'm just thinking probably <clears throat> probably Western's probably almost one of the next ones you got a dad or pirate. Well, you did pirates. So, I mean, you almost got to go. You pretty much have to go. Well, yeah, probably Western probably be good. Especially if you're trying to stay away from anything like any of the licensed stuff. But. Um, yeah. Or UFO. Well, I, I, yeah, I'd like to focus on Lego IPs. Uh, I'm trying to think here. <laughs> like, you've done some of them. Western's probably the one that probably one of probably the next major one. Wow, who built a who built who made a chrome astronaut? Uh, <clears throat> what about if you do like dinos, but like in the Jurassic Park type look to it? Okay. Oh, like maybe like a a fusion between Jurassic Park, like maybe some of the iconic Jurassic Park logos, but it's the original super super blocky dinos. Yeah, that would look cool. That's an idea. You're a you're a thinking man, Nick. That's a, another person that makes shirts. <laughs> well, they have this one that's the Dinosaur Protection Group. Oh, uh, movie. are you talking about like the asset uh, or like a what is it? Uh, asset detainment unit or whatever? No, the um, in Fallen Kingdom. Oh, I didn't see that movie. No. <laughs> You can go see it, sir. Do they have like? Are you telling me in that movie they have like a pita for dinosaurs? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> MJ Brick says Harry Potter dragon, old style dragon, new style dragon on one shirt. Here, here, here you go, Kevin. Uh, hold up. Yeah, a lot of people are saying dragons. Uh, let me see what we got here. This is the like. Protection agency. Yeah, this is what because in the second one, Claire's group is trying to save the dinosaurs. So this is her group. They made a whole campaign, goofy, you know, uh, promotional campaign. Gorilla, gorilla marketing. Yeah. <laughs> so. Nice. Yeah, that's an idea. Yeah. These are good ideas. Thank you, everybody. How's the uh, how's the comic series coming? Uh, it's yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kevin. I just did a, I did a Patreon post last night with uh, comic number two. What were you just talking about that this morning, Kevin? Well, wow. I mean, Hoosier, Hoosier's not in. Yeah, I did. I did a. Uh, oh, even though comic two is not new. I did a Patreon post and I shared never before seen process photos. Man, I hate dropping a clear brick into a clear bag. Woohoo! Dropping a long brick into the wrong into the wrong bag. 
Anybody see the headlight brick in here? Because I can't see it. Anybody see it? <laughs> yeah, it's right there. Yeah, it's over there. <laughs> it's two inches to the left. <laughs> uh, I, I saw it. I saw it as I was pushing it in the bag. I'm like, oh, I'll never find it in there. I guess we'll put one headlight brick. It's not like it's going to be bad. But I'll build with it at some point. You're welcome, Bubba. We'll just get lonely without its rest of its headlight friends. Oh, I forgot to chat. <laughs> I'll try to find a Lego you guys, state. You guys missed all the fun earlier. I have to go back and rewind. And <laughs> to oh, I think we're still here. He's muted. He's here. He's here, but he's not here. And that's kind of the problem. But. He's here in spirit. That's why it's so much quieter in here. <laughs> Can't quite hear a pin drop pretty close. Haley, do you know how many people have built books for the collaborative build? Um, one. Are you serious? <laughs> Maybe two. I'm still working on mine. Honestly, I keep forgetting about it. So I'm I'm done with mine. Uh, I know. I, Nick, is it, I thought it was your. Is it not your thing? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I just. Uh, I think Nick Nick is done with his. I think Julian, hopefully, I think he was still working on his. Um, I have the outer book done and a couple of the scenes. I just got to do the main build. Is the book still available on Lego.com? Yes. Yeah, I just took the, the instructions and had my own pieces and built it. There it is. That's not a bad idea, too. A wise man. Yes, Except that's what I did, and then I swapped, swapped it out. It's kind of cold here in Wisconsin, and my stores weren't very warm, so I don't know if I'll be doing that anytime soon. Yeah. There he is. There's the chop. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. He heard his, he heard his name, and he came back, so it wasn't no, quite I, like... Uh, I had, I didn't hear it. I was upstairs. And I had to move my car in the driveway, and then I had to clean it off because it was covered in snow. No, Haley had said she heard Western. That's why she appeared. So we thought maybe since you heard your name, you decided to appear. Western? Where? 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 Yeah. I'm just. I, I think I think Buck Chop should show off his poly bag since Hoosier and Haley are in here now. Haley already got one. I and I had, a, I had to pull up a picture. I had to show them. I even described what the box it came in. Oh, no. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get to the chopper. Uh, it's okay. I'm training. I'm what training them. They know I'm the Lego person when I come he, in. He actually grabbed my poly bag before he grabbed the game. And then I was like, hey, sweet cheeks. No, I was kidding. I made that up. I was just like, hey, how's a guy get another one of those? And then he's like, oh, sure. Let me go in the back. We got a bunch and no one pre-ordered it. I said, he's like, you want two of them? I said, two, two more? And I said, yeah. You speak what, what right? job? I'll, I'll trade you a cut road plate for one. <laughs> hey, you got it, partner. How can I turn down an offer like that? No cut. I cut it just right down the middle. With friends like that, who needs enemies, right, people? <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> uh, I'll pass, but thanks for the offer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, if, what if I glued it back together? That yeah, would make it all the more better. <laughs> uh, that sounds like somehow that's magically getting worse. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> the, deal, the deal sours. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but the, but the crag will keep it together so much better, won't it? Yeah. Or, yeah. Or just don't do that to it. He's trying to trigger me, but it's not going to work because I've been meditating. <laughs> You've been medicated? Is that what you said? Yeah, I am medicated, but that doesn't always help. 
you'll be glad to know I retired the night. You did? Yeah. What happened? I don't have to cut no more. <laughs> oh, you cut them all? Yeah. Well, that's not good either. That's still just as <laughs> bad. I mean, you made it seem like maybe you might have stopped your wicked ways, but I no. did. Right, I after, right, after, right after that stream. I feel like you completing your task is different than you retiring. Right. <laughs> like, I thought maybe you I thought maybe you had cut yourself and that's there, why there's you like a, There's basically like if you're a serial killer and you have a list of victims and you finish the list, it doesn't make you not a serial killer anymore. Like you're like, oh, don't worry guys, I'm not a serial killer. I finished the list. Good They're news. All I finished everyone on my list. Everyone's dead, so I'm better now. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work that way, Hoosier. You're, you're still sick. <laughs> Who's your need some shock therapy? It's all good. I ran out of people to kill. <laughs> Don't worry, you guys are safe. <laughs> Rest out of victims, people. Why won't you talk to me anymore? <laughs> and that was the end of the stream. Thank you, everybody. You killed everybody, butt shop. How did you do that, man? I I got got all those bricks. You guys were happy. Yeah, I got a lot of those bricks. Don't forget. Uh, base plate time is cutting time. <laughs> you have a thing here at, at the Hoosier household. You, you cut a base plate, you get cut. If it ain't broke, break it. <laughs> When you're done killing, you're retired. When you're done killing, you're all better. <laughs> Doctor Hoosier, all right, all right Hoosier, you need to pull out some base plates and show them how it's done. I think they okay. really want to see it. Let's do it. They they need to see the, the slice in the dicin. The, the evil that is. Yeah, uh, I, I know for sure I got to do more. <laughs> That's too bad. I think he ran out of base plates to cut. Oh, no. No. I got like 10,000 intersections. Oh, oh yeah. Nice in time. Let's do it. Oh, are you cutting them, to, are you cutting them to make them straight or what? He just cuts them all up. No rhyme or reason. He just slashes at them blindly. I trimmed them down. I put them on a meal's plate. He, he cut them down, so instead of being 32 uh, two by 32, they're 30 by 32. It's really stupid. Don't let him know I said that, though. I didn't hear that. I'll, 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 I'll yeah. try not to tell him that. I mean, I, I solely endorse what he's doing. It's good. Dude, dude, I'm building a secret project. Dude, you try changing the subject. Good, good diversion there, dude. <laughs> I find it funny that they're putting the Lego Dimension starter pack figures in with movies now. <laughs> hey, that's exactly right, MJ. MJ says, this is what Hoosier usually says, butt shop. You're not right. <laughs> it, it don't do no good. <laughs> but it's, it is still fun to say. He, he's never going to be right. <laughs> and MJ's like, and at least MJ's, you know, he's seen enough streams if he knows that that's coming. He's like, it's about that time, folks. <laughs> Where Hoosier tells Butch up he ain't right. <laughs> Can I say it? <laughs> Anybody can say it. What chop? Yeah. Here it comes. You're weird. You're yeah. weird. <laughs> Erica, right back at you. Hey! What? Being weird is good. You don't want it. Normal is a setting on a washing machine. You don't want to be normal. Normal ain't fun. Nobody goes to hang out with the normal kid. That's, that's great. You're not knowing. You know, the, 
I've noticed in my life that the people who claim to be the most normal and regular are actually the most messed up. And the ones that are actually themselves and just uh, have a good time, they're more, as you would say, normal than the ones who think that they're normal. I think they're lying to themselves. I mean, I, I think I'm great here. But Chop, is he done with that story at? Oh, that's right. You had to go somewhere. That's right. Oh, I had to go. I had a. I got uh, Indigo picked out a special cupcake from the bakery, so I had. I ate that. How many chrome or Lego space? Oh, Always be yourself, unless you can be that. Do that. Right. Holy. Dude, what do you think I'm building? <laughs> so you finished your Mac Malego? Am Lego? Yes, I did. Oh yeah. Mactoberfest. Oh nice. I think he's a little back heavy. A little junk in the trunk. Yeah, I've got to try to fix that now, don't I? That's okay though. Okay, I it looks good. I wouldn't mess with it. Unless I had a bigger Mac of my own. <laughs> but if it was just me versus the Mac, yeah. There you Especially go. with that Trident arm. Anybody need, anybody need a Chrome Spaceman? Whoa. What is it? I was looking for classic Lego and I came across this guy. I want it so bad. There's no way that's legit. No, no. Somebody probably chrome the guy. No, I don't. I don't want it. Maybe Hoosier can put it with his cut base plates. Yeah, bling bling bricks. No bling bling bricks. Yeah. Oh wow, that was really bad connection on the age one. Oh, wow, that's kind of nice, huh? Ooh, fancy. The popcorn came out. The popcorn came out. No. Well, you got to put this shield in here. There you go. It's kind of cool that they give me that blank shield. Okay. And that's the gun. So, oh, yeah. Who's playing the toys? Yep. Yeah. We'll play with it now that it's not. Yeah. What's he always playing with them now? Yep. After I after I build them and take my picture, he gets to play with them. Whoa. Looks like you're not a fan of that thought. How many, how many sets you build this morning, Kevin? I don't think he's on speaking terms with you, Hoosier. What? Did you say something? I left the room. What? I mean, no, just say you're not on speaking terms with Hoosier. How many sets you get done this morning? 
This month or this morning? <laughs> this morning. In my life? Well. Wow. You know, it wasn't too bad this morning. I think I got, uh, let's see, hold on. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I got six. Six done today. Good job. That's a, that's a lot better than like the three I did last time. Good job. Thank you. What? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> but I also stuck with uh, you know the smaller. Smaller sets. The largest thing I built was the Jedi Starfighter. Wow. <laughs> Hope's reaction, priceless. Oh. oh wow. Oh. oh. That's good. Glad that's over. <laughs> You better watch it, Butt Chop. Chester's you gotta watch it, Butt Chop! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go watch it for months. That's the problem. Okay, so where. That must be not, not for that. What is that for? Must just be a part laying on my table. Okay. So Haley, did you build your poly bag? Do you like the little star? Oh, I haven't built them yet. Oh, um, that's sad. No, that's it's and the, Emmett said. There's a Is lot it, of cool pieces in that in that build, though. Yeah, it's a really depressing set, though, because I only put the sad faces on both of them, and every time I look at it, I start to cry. No, because the only way to get the sad star is through that poly bag. I know, exclusive star. But some of the bracket colors in that set are new. Yeah, the little one by uh, the one by uh, snot, snot plate bracket side. Yeah, well, new colors, not new pieces, because it's the. Well, I, I know. Yeah. I, I know that. I mean. I'm gonna build them. I know that. <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of a good idea, MJ. Forever sorting on rubber bands. That's an element type I've never had an excess of to sort, right? I just throw all mine up on those. That little piece that they give, that gray piece they used to give you mm -hmm. in the set, it's like a, it's not really a piece. And then you can just put your rubber band around it. Oh. Well, I don't think I got a single extra rubber band. This guy's at the store right now. Come on, baby. Oh, here. Oh, yeah, look at that guy's head. Hey, everybody. Boss from the Lego. Oh, yeah, I put him on here. I don't know what. The, He's a what coffee cup. Oh, nice. I put him on this thing, whatever this is. It's not really a, a part, but it has technicals in it. I don't know what it comes from. I dropped it anyway. No, I'll never find that. That's good. Okay, he's, he's up at the liquor store, dude. Juice. Take off the sick big stuff. Not the sick big, but the mini big stuff. Mini big stuff. Your dogs count. Okay. okay. What are you building, Doozer? The secret. secret project. Well, don't do it on a live stream if it's a secret. It's okay. We can totally tell from where do you, where do you the find it? and what it is. Yeah, you can't tell from the instructions. Oh, it's a cafe corner. Oh, I see what it is now. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely cafe corner. But. I wish it was. I wish it was a cafe corner. I like the way Butt Chop thinks. 
<laughs> it almost looks like something with a corner, corner garage maybe or something maybe. Whoa. What am I supposed to do with this? He only owns like 14 of them, so. Uh, not that big. Two of them are mine. Oh, wait. Is your wife right here? Never mind. Yeah, he only has one. Yeah, he only bought one, Mrs. Hoosier. Isn't that good? Do you think she bought that? Did you believe me? You, you want to know, know the crazy thing about Chuck? What? She told you to do it. She was with me when I bought all four. <laughs> hey, two of them are mine. MJ's so, asking about the center sprue from the coins. I mean, I, most I people you use it with science. And I have MJ, one. Most people use those in the game. I have room. one. Says, yeah, I'm like, oh. Uh, so, so what kind of looks do you get from the people at the Lego store when you're buying four four of those hoosh? I think you only want two at a time. Yeah, kind of, it's usually the kind of look that they think he's a reseller, probably. Uh, yeah, it's probably the kind of look like, oh, this is a bad, bad man. And then they see his video about cutting base plates, and they're like, we were right. He is a bad, bad man. It's, he gets put on the um, watch list. Yeah, yeah. blacklist. Oh, yes, you know it. Blacklisted. You see this guy in here? Don't let him near the base plates and don't let him near the corner garages because he ain't right. Those <laughs> uh, mysterious purchases start popping up. It's yeah. funny when they have armed guards escort him well, away from the base plates. One thing to be careful about is I mean, you know, even if you're not a reseller or anything, the VIP, you know, sometimes they, you just got to be careful that they don't freaking, I don't know, cancel your VIP card or anything. But what I don't get is that if you want to drop two, four, six, nine hundred dollars on a freaking <laughs> Lego, why don't they let you drop nine hundred dollars? They don't Lego? need the money. It's not about money for Lego. Lego doesn't care about profit. They don't care if if they get a dime from any of the sets they sell. It's the joy on the children's faces that Lego runs on. That's what they pay the they pay the executives in children's joy. They don't care. Dear employees, unfortunately, our quota of smiles was down. We have to lay off 2,000. <laughs> <laughs> the smile. Hey, that's probably what happened, Kevin. <laughs> what? Probably what happened. It was all about those smiles. Yep. <laughs> For us, it's not about the money. That's not what makes Lego run. So they don't want people like Hoosier in there spending big bucks. All right. Who's your gums in there with 900, 100, or nine one hundred dollar bills and slabs on the table? Boom! I take you're, four of them. And your money's no good here, sir. Please leave. That's what I don't get it. I, was I don't get that business. I, I'm new school, man. I use plastic. <laughs> oh, you don't roll up there with the roll of one hundreds and. Who's your play is only in Bitcoin. He says, where do I stick all my bitcoins? And they say, what? <laughs> I'm paying in bitcoin, kids. Big spender coming through. Big spender. Look at the bitcoin on this guy's hard drive. So, uh, let's see. MJ Bricks in the chat. I'd like Kevin's opinion on the sprue pieces, like the center piece with gold coins, for instance. Can't connect it, but it's a chrome. It's chrome. And larger than the others. Yeah, I mean, I've seen some pretty incredible builds where people use that. I mean, it, it is technically trash. It's yeah. not meant to be played with, just like the uh, the rubber green one around the leaves and the molly wheels. And actually, that thing you just mentioned, much up, the you put the rubber band around it. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it, it's you as a hobbyist. If you want it, I mean, use it. I I don't keep them. I throw them away. But most uh, people use them in their treasure rooms. I think. I just use that one that gray piece to get the rubber bands around. It's just good to store them on there. I can remember what that thing was for. It's from Lego. But yeah, I usually use those little the screws for the gold coins. I use those for choking on. I'll I'll cram them <laughs> up in my throat until I can't breathe good. <laughs> I have that. That's good. All right. Uh, I'm going to head out for the evening and see if I can try to get this kid to sleep. Good luck. Good luck.
Yeah, we can live with that, man. All right, all of you. Uh, you guys stay out of trouble. Let's try not to revert back to any placenta talk. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having us over, Kevin. <laughs> right. Bye. Bye, everybody. Take it easy, Kevin. Bye, Kevin. Bye, people in the chat. Bye, Kevin. So now we can start talking bad about Kevin. Why would we do that? <laughs> That's a pretty cool little piece. I, I, oh, yeah, I like them round uh, with the, yeah. The, the banana guy. Banana guy like the, pieces. They put the brown ones on our lug book this year for den lug. Where does that go? Where do they use that at? I was wondering what kind of application that would have. I think it's going to help with uh, the angle at the front of the building. What, what part of the front of the building? The, the different angle on the front of the building. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you can use that to do some cool stuff that you couldn't do, that you can't do with the uh, corner, using the corners on. So, Hoosier, did you open up all four and just like dump them all up on the table? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Nick. <laughs> just, just all the bag ones. There you go. Um, well, we had to dump them all out to get them. Whoa. <laughs> So are you gonna corner it, or are you just gonna have it straight on? Uh, I was coughing, Nick. I didn't hear what you said, buddy. I I, I said, uh, are you gonna corner it, or are you gonna have it straight on? Uh, I still gonna be corner building. I would do a whole block, a city block of just garage. <laughs> uh, I thought about that, but chop. Uh... Don't wonder up there. No, I got a crap load of pieces left from bag one. Some of your mirror bricks have numbers on them. Yeah, yeah they're from. Uh, I'm talking about, I didn't smell it when I said that. Like the. Uh, the city center the city set, the red and black truck had the two little motorcycles. Yeah. You know how, how it had the, uh, the podium? Yeah. Mm. I think that's what they're from. Oh. Unless it's just got two and three. Yeah. In fact, I think I got several Mills plates. It's got that same exact same exact brick in it. Now you're going to get them all mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> which is which? <laughs> they all look the same to me. Well, it's yeah. easy to mix the Mills plates, unfortunately. I have lots of experience doing that. As long as it doesn't look too bad, you're okay. Maybe. Well, this is a pretty nice little Lego store, and this little poly bag is real nice. This is a real nice day. And you're going to mod that, right, Chop? Yeah. But now I don't have any gusto left because I went to work all day. <laughs> so I should see if I can actually... Fine. Where's my? I actually modded a Lego store a long time. Let me see if I can find it. Real quick. So, are you gonna make it wider or deeper? Deep, because it's gonna go on a 16 by 32 base okay. plate, and then it will go. It'll be the same length as like the expert modulars and all the creator three-in-one modulars that I or builds that I turned into modulars that are all on these this size plate. Okay. So it lines up, and they're basically like. You know, half size expert modulars now because I made them go back, and then the sidewalk lines up with the expert modular. So I'll just make this. So the ATM will come off the side because this will be this will be butt up against the sides will be against other in between other buildings. Nice. But it'll, it'll yeah, be the and put the ATM in the door. Then there'll be a back door. There'll be stairs going up. What? So do you technically pin your, your buildings together? They have the ability to do that, but I don't always have the pins in there. Mm. Like, but all of them have the the Technic bricks that are lined up on the sides if I wanted to have them all pinned. Some of them have like some of the 
like some of the creator ones, I the three in ones. Uh, I I left space. I didn't make them full sixteen wide, so that way, in between the buildings, there's uh, yeah, like an alleyway. Room. Yeah, like an alleyway. So there's still like a side window for this and like the ATM and the sign. Because I didn't want to take the coffee sign down. Mm -hmm. So like cool. for that one. And then for the delis for dads, I left the side open so that you can still have so you can still have the, the takeout window on the mm -hmm. side. So it's like the width of a modular. But it's the I mean the length of the modular, but it, a lot of times I, some of them I make the whole width sixteen stud wide, and some of them I just leave, and then it's that way if there's anything on the side that's of importance, then you can still utilize that side. Nice. Sorry, was that too in depth? No, no, I I I, I asked. That's Did cool, but John wants the new digital designer yet. Hey, wait! I thought you don't like me, dude. You. You're always sticking up for little Hoosier, poor little Hoosier. I like you, bud, Chubb. You're cool. I, know, I was just kidding. I was just kidding, dude. Oh, hello, dude. I, I like you, bud. <laughs> I'm going to do. Hey, hey, dude, dude, did you know that you want a, a set from uh, Rick? Do hey, you know that I got it on Tuesday? Nanny, nanny, nanny boo boo. <laughs> you did the man in the boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> There you have it, folks. Nana and a boo boo. Yeah, Nana and a boo boo. Stick it in, doo doo. Hey, hey, boo boo. I, I didn't say boo -boo. nothing about boobs there, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I figured Juju had, had uh, he had, uh, detected the Hoosier. Or what? I thought you defected the team Hoosier. I was going to say, you know. From where Hoosier's sitting at, hey. you're on the losing side of the Civil War. You might want to team up with me, you know. Hey, 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 I'm not on nobody's. I'm on Team Lego. Team Lego? Those guys are awful. Have you seen the promos they've been doing lately? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. Hey, Reed, what was you saying about a Lego digital designer? They just released a new one recently with a new. Uh, with new bricks. Yeah, I, know. I went in there a while back and I noticed they had friend parts in there. So that's like a week ago or two weeks ago. Yeah, here's my here's my, one of the Lego stores I designed years ago. This oh, is yeah. a, this is a, I think it's four base plates, two by two. Oh. This is the old, this is the first Lego store I worked in. Right here. That's huge. Is that Colorado Mills? Yeah, it's Colorado Mills. Was the back door really a jail door? Huh? Was the back door really a jail door in your store that you worked at? <laughs> no, actually, where that white screen is, that was like all the back area that was just sort of different shelves and stuff. So. There was no prison door in the back? No. That's how you keep no, the employees there forever. <laughs> You lock them in for their shift. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, though, there's like, I actually, it's it's custom because obviously, you know, otherwise it'd be freaking monster size. So I mean, I actually got stairs going up the upper floors, but I don't have an upper floor yet. So and there's like, is that, up, up, huh? Is that the with the spot where it was still the outlet store, or is that after it moved? No, nope, that's the outlet store. No, because it looked just like a normal Lego store afterwards. So. Uh -huh. But we won store of the year back to back in 2009 and 2010. So that's why I'm only store. Only store that's going to win by default. No, we are trying to fail. Yeah, but see, these are pick a brick trees here, these gray ones. That was, that was back when the brick was really good. That's cool. Oh. Uh, pick a brick tree. That's it. That's it. And who says brick doesn't go on tree? Right, Reed? That's right. Right. That was one of the versions. I mean, I got so much stuff in my DD files. It's crazy. 
How many terabytes? No, not that much. I just I like I liked building a lot of stuff in Digital Designer because I didn't have to pull out my stuff. Oh, I, like I, I love Digital Designer. I built several of the modular buildings in that thing. Let's see here. I'm trying to think if I had anything good, but I've never I've cool. never tried it, but it's pretty fun. You, get, you got access to all the parts they ever, almost all the parts they ever made. Even they have retired stuff in there too. Uh, some. That's cool. They probably updated it since the last time I checked it. But some of the uh, a lot of the parts they had in the early nineties. There's a lot of those in there, but. There's some that are missing. Yeah. I actually made I made some custom double decker couches. I actually downloaded the plans off of the off of the uh, Metal Beards chip the one yeah. year. And at Brickworld, I actually had these. I actually sold these the one year. Yeah. Cool. I donated a money a money couch. I think a green couch. A purple. Maybe uh, another one. So. Emmett, Emmett needs Emmett needs to have his money in his couch. He's spending all that money on his coffee. There's always money in the banana stand. Right here. Haley, there's always money in the banana stand. Yes, there is. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Then he hires the guy to burn it down. <laughs> oh, there's another fifty thousand dollars in there. Oh, there's a hundred dollars in there. <laughs> uh, the new season of that comes comes out soon. What? Yeah, March fifteenth. Season four or five? Season five. Oh really? That's cool. I guess I got. We gotta go. Me and Jen gotta go watch season four again. We didn't make it all the way through, so that's kind of cool. Especially since we own one through three on DVD, because we love that. We loved it so much. We gotta run. I wanna do the house and the the stair car and the banana stand. Yeah, the stair car would be awesome. I like when they drive under things that are too low. <laughs> and uh, and they can't drive into the prison anymore because uh, people were jumping out. Yep, they jump, they're running up the stairs and jumping over the fence. I also like when they have that uh, when they're in that cabin that's on that's um, on wheels. <laughs> yeah. Is that when they take the forget me not? I don't remember. Like like Job gives him those he gives people routines, but he calls them forget me nots and then uh, Yeah, because they, they, they kidnapped that one person. Um, hey, I like to see what I got from the flea market last weekend. Yeah. I think it was a deal. Flea market, fine. Let's see. I wish we had flea market by us. Right. Yeah. Back, we have uh, them, like, a good deal. You know, summer time we have them and shawn them, but there's never nothing good at them. This is about thirty pounds of loose Lego. Oh. Wow! <laughs> That's a big bang. Huh? Yeah. It's about 30, I, I almost think it's about 35 pounds, but uh, I only gave $45 for it. Oh, that's a steal. Yes, that is. There's 12 parts in here. That's a steal, man. Nice, nice find. Provided there's more Lego than fake Lego. Yeah, more Lego than yeah. used syringes. I hadn't completely sorted through it. I looked through it, and there's some weird stuff in it. Yeah, there'll probably be some non-Lego, but if it's mostly Lego, that's a good deal. Technical. Yeah. yeah. It's better to operate another 
I haven't really looked that closely at it. It's weird looking though. It looks like okay. some kind of like knockoff Technic. Yeah, it well. It's got oh, weird looking pieces. Yeah, that's that's different. Hey Ken. Hey Bud Top, how you doing? Really, really, really good. Dude, you were just showing us what he got at the flea market. And he said he bought about thirty pounds of loose loose logo and other odds and then you just get back from setup? Oh uh no. No, I got back a couple hours ago. Sixteen by sixteen. I had to do you know how to do dinner and stuff first. Get out of there, butt shop. And that's I don't I you know as much as like buying oh yeah there you go. Oh base plate. You could cut that down to be like a six by six base plate if you wanted. No, I have sixteen or sixteen is better. Yeah, as much as it's a pain to go through loose light. Oh nice. Another 16 by 16 regular plate. Yeah, it's a pain to go through that. I mean, to go through that, it's always fun to see what's in there. Yeah, it looks purple, by the way, not blue. Oh, sorry. It kind of looks blue on the thing, but... Well, I can't. Blue and purple look exactly the same to me. Unless they're like, yeah, they look like a baby blue and like dark purple, then I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't working with the best light up here anyway. So. And there's a white one, and there's uh, I know there's a bunch of mini fig parts in here and uh, mini doll parts. I hadn't yeah. gone through and sorted them out yet. I like when I find some vintage yeah. parts in there. Yeah, I found in that window some cool stuff. But <laughs> and Lego fall asleep. Bag two for who's? You what? You going to bag two now? No, I was. Oh, Erica, instead of just sitting there, she can go over and finish her bell bill set. She still doesn't finish it? Those are pretty easy builds. Uh, I got You got I got sick last week, man, and ended the cream and cut out. Uh, before, before she had the chance. Oh What, what, what happened to Ken? Oh no, he's gone. Just oh, he just made it. I know, I was just kidding. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm still here, but I'm, I'm hearing a crazy, crazy echo on my side. Oh, it's not me, it's you. Echo, echo. I don't hear no echo, echo, echo. I'd say mute your mic and then come yeah, back. And keep it. Oh, echo, 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 echo. See, this is better. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> this is another thing I what, built. What, in. What? Oh, that looks nice. So it's a bank, and then oh, the, way cool. it, the way it works is the vault door opens, and then when it opens, you. The, the people behind the counter are locked, so they can only go into the vault at that point in time. Oh. President's cool. president right here, and then a couple other offices. Well, the president's office is bigger than the lobby. That's all, you know, that's how it works, you know. Shouldn't be. President should have to be in the mop room. <laughs> here we go. Let's see here. Actually, let's see if she's Okay, let's Look see at all the there. icons he has on his desktop. Holy crap! Enough, got enough shortcuts there, Reed? <laughs> no, not enough. See if this is different than the other store I loaded a little while. You must make a shortcut for every single thing that's on his computer. I don't know. Have they made uh, the new? 
Just think about all the memory it's taking up to have all those short cuts on the door. Short guns don't take up too much too much space. What did you say, Halo? Yeah. But uh, after that many years, it does. I hope that new program is um, you can import all the old LDDs into it. Yeah. Oh, here we go. This is so. This is the Lego store. I must have finished it. Maybe there's all the extra stuff on the outside, the tiles and stuff. But okay. So apparently, I'm I'm more tired than I thought I was because I figured out my echo issue. Train. What was it? I, I left the YouTube video open as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Classic Ken. Classic Ken. Yeah. Everybody. I'm I'm super so super tired tonight. <laughs> Well, how much did you take to the show today? Uh, so I took my my Harry Potter build, which was four base plate by four base plate, um, and then I took uh, just you know all my normal bins of like I've been a track and a bin of base plates and a bin of trains and you know all that kind of stuff. So I didn't put it all out necessarily, but just just getting the show set up and all the tables figured out and leveled and you know after a day of work as well, I, I was, I'm tired. Here you go. Here you go, butt shop. Here's the kind of Lego store you need right here. I, I should have I should have learned from you, Reed, and actually taken a uh, taken a nap in the middle of the middle of the setup, and I would have been good. Yeah, West, West Lego, Western Lego store, yeah. You know, it's pretty cool. cool. Like I said, I've played with physical designer a lot. There should be you should have a funeral by the door. Can you huh? add the tune to the door by the door when you first walk in? You gotta have a tune. Have a what? A spit, a spit tune. Oh yeah, I can always add a bucket. There's one on the back. I can do that. That's not a big deal. Yeah. I've been shopping for Lego like spitting. As long as you don't, as long as you don't spit on the Lego, I guess. Right. You know? That's why they have, if they don't have a spittoon, it's bound to happen. That's why it's proper Western etiquette to always have a spittoon at your entrance. Let's see if this, let's see if this one loads. This one's kind of a good one. I'm not sharing yet, so let's see. Oh, yeah, see here I worked on a, it's working on a Western bank, too. Same kind of principle as that modern one with the, uh, with the vault door. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, cool. I'm trying to figure out where I've got the big. I got a big one here somewhere. Well, this will be good. This one you'll like. This one. This one would be. This would be a tough one to build. It'd be like the instructions from like the old Statue of Liberty with the same color bricks. So let's see if. Uh, or not same colored, but it's actually kind of interesting. But it's pretty. It's pretty big to build. I don't know if I'd ever want to build it. Probably like two feet tall. Don't wait for it to load. It takes forever. So Ken, are you building some more stuff for the show or what? Yeah, I'm trying to build um, a new uh, locomotive for the Harry Potter train because my my old one just doesn't doesn't can't get it around. They can't get it around the track. Really? Yeah. Well, I, I have five train. I have six train cars. Six passenger train cars. There's a mine. A mine control tower. That's really cool. Yeah, that would look really cool, Bills, man. I have to find the parts for that sucker. <laughs> looking for uh, looking for the one thing. I've got a giant. Here we go. Crate warehouse and trucks. That's the right one. Look at this guy. I mean, I played for a little. These are all old ones. These are all from like 2008 to 2012, pretty much. I need to download the new program and see how good it is. See if it truly, uh, you know, utilizes, you know, warming. Oh, so it's the actual new program. It's not a, just an update. 
Well, I don't know. I mean, it, well, it's probably got new bricks and stuff, but sometimes when they updated it, they removed bricks. I need to find my version that I got from the guys at Lego Universe because that one had every piece. It had Up until that point, it had even the old Western and, and everything. It was a special version that they got, and one of the guys I knew worked there. I think he got to me. I just don't know where it's at. So here you go. This one's a good one. This one's kind of cool. I need me a good computer where I can build big stuff like that. So this is a warehouse with some trucks. We've got the uh, rail cars. Yeah, it looks like my work. It looks like where I work for the with the loading docks, and then we have the rail cars. Well, the train tracks are behind the building, turn the front of the building for my warehouse. Well, yeah, I mean, I just basically built the rail car so the creek would fit on the on the car on the trucks and stuff to sit on there but i all the trucks are eight wide so you can sit two guys two minifigs in there oh, be, oh uh, so you, there's no part of the warehouse to unload the to unload the train cars uh not yeah. in this version this is on uh, on mine and then train tracks go right up to the back of the building and then we open big doors and then we can put a plate across to the box car and drive our forklifts right into the box car yeah, I hadn't built that yet. I mean, that would be something that I'd probably have to add. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'd like to. I was thinking about trying to make a warehouse like with that has the the real train, the train uh unloading docks, like like the one I work in, because it's actually kind of neat. Yeah, probably just because I like trains. <laughs> it's probably uh, nice. neat. And that's why people use Digital Designer because then you didn't have to go hunting for all your pieces. You could build it, print the instructions, and then go look for your pieces after you build it. Because then you can, if you don't like something, you can take it apart without having to, you know, have built so much. You know. Yeah. I mean, some. So here we go. Here's the, here's one of my trucks I built. An eight wide. Oh, that's a big one. It's got like a cot in the back there. There's a pizza in there. Yeah. Yeah. Computer. Hmm. Actually, I redid it at one point so I could put like lights in there too. So that actually, this where all these lights are at. There's like, like gaps behind it. Oh. So. Um, yeah, I played. I played a little bit. So, you know, you gotta, that's what makes the program nice. Is you can just do whatever you want with it. You know. Hey, yeah. don't have to sell I, me on it. I like working in the mode where you could make the book any color you want it to make, even if it wasn't a Lego color. Um, yeah, but I mean, I, and they might still, I mean, there's versions where I think they'll do that. So there's a certain tab where you can do that. There's like but, a thing where you can force it. Rick Pasta was showing me something where you can like force, he was forcing it to make a color that doesn't actually come in. Uh, yeah. it, 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 Rick Pasta was forcing it to do a color that doesn't the, the parts not technically available in because he was working on some kind on a mock on a mock in that in that. Oh, you put Lance on top of the rhino from Fantastic Beasts. That's awesome, MJ. Actually, MJ, after I sent your stuff. Is your video up? I should be watching. Um, and anyway, MJ did his first video ever. His first content for YouTube, which is awesome. But I sent him a package. I forgot I was going to throw in a bunch of uh, older castle things in there. Darth Hall is sneaking around, too. I think uh, the chat's pretty much been pretty slow. Yeah. Not a lot of getting business late. in the chat. It's getting kind of late. Probably getting people dropping. Yeah, off. I have to get up for work at like four a.m. So, and I gotta work six to six, and then six to six, and then Monday I have off, and then I have off, and then I work. You know. It feels like I didn't have any days off because I've been going to work on my days off. So. 
Oh, here you go. This is even. This is even a smaller footprint. Here we go. We'll show this. This is the last thing I'm going to show. This is the. This is even a smaller footprint of that story I showed earlier. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What is going on here? And Jennifer won't let me eat any food in the house because we don't have money for groceries. So I'm really hungry. That's not very nice that I can't eat any of my groceries. Are you kidding me? Stream, if you guys can hear me, the stream might die. The live stream might go. <laughs> what like, happened, Hope? My Google Hangouts just is like not responding, so the live. Uh oh, this is where it gets fun. This is the cliffhanger. I've been cheering all night, and then the one time I hit share, and I didn't think I hit it, I hit share again, and the thing just kind of sits in its la la land. So you guys can hear me. Good thing. Hey, hey, butt chop. Did you see that? Uh, I posted a haul video and shouted shouted out to you. Uh uh you made a video too? Yeah, I made two of them. That was ages ago. What? I did yeah. a haul video recently. And the I second one, I when I did the haul video, I, I did a shout out to you. you that, did. that thing, that thing you sent me. Oh, that's awesome! No, see, I'm, I'm really fine. I have to watch M Legos. I gotta watch so much stuff because usually on my three days off, where I want, I catch up on all my videos, and I've been at work every day. So this, was like, can, this was like three so weeks ago. Will let me eat. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta go watch mine too, but Chuck. What you have a new video? Yeah, but Chuck, you no. have to go watch mine too. <laughs> you have a new video, Haley. I only got two, and you, you ain't even watched either one. I know all know. your content that you have, unless you made new one, did you? I'm gonna make one on Sunday. So if you were to, I've watched everything you've made unless you made something new, dude. So you can watch both videos. Yeah. So I watched all <laughs> two of them. They took a took a long time, but I watched no they I watched them a long time ago, dude. You didn't you didn't watch them, but uh, you didn't make no video. Sure. Oh yeah, you did. You made a bad search the internet. You might want to see if the live stream is still even going. All my Googles are locked up. It's not going. We're not at, we're in a different parallel universe right now. It's cool to live up in the corner. Thank you, everybody. I mean, that won't matter. That really doesn't matter. It's interesting to see if the, if the action, if you go to YouTube and go to the stream. Doc Samson, this is like driving your car on empty to see how far you can go before it stops. This is fun. Are, are, we still, are we still live, people? Seven. Five miles past. It is. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! <laughs> so it's like uh, Schrodinger's cat. You know, you're either you're either still live streaming or you're not, but you don't know until you check it out. Yep. I don't know until someone checks it out because all my Googles are locked well, this up. Could be an alternate universe. Streaming <laughs> and actually, everyone's daily life is just one big stream. I mean, I guess you guys can hear me. That's a partially good thing. Huh? They're still uh, YouTube. Don't oh, believe I? everything you see, dude. Dude. Short. Short. Hampton says he's up there and lurking. So. Part day, part day, part day. We're apparently still uh still online. Well, yeah, but that's been up there for the last couple. Yeah, minutes. that's from an hour ago, Ken. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. A whole new world. This is really fun because actually nothing is happening, but it's fun to pretend that something's happening. <laughs> I think I'm going to stand here, dude. It's pretty much still live, apparently. <laughs> He's so serious. I mean, you're still like, it's still live. And I'm like cracking up. I'm going to say to you, you're still alive. You're just going to 
I can't get my, my my internet's running so slow. But he's got gerbils on a wheel running his internet. The the Shima. When did Nick leave? He didn't even say bye. I bet Reed picked him up. Is Reed gone? Oh, five, four, three, two, and it was. But Killed the screen. <laughs> I didn't kill nothing, man. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just waiting to see what happens. It's like riding. It's like you're, you know, you you know your plane is going down, and you don't know when you're gonna hit when the impact is gonna be. So you just hold on to your seat and wait for the plane to crash. That's what we're doing right now. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> This is it. What are you hooting and hollering about, Chuck? Reed's not here anymore. We're we're floating. We're coasting on fumes. Reed really <laughs> dropped out. We're that coasting on fumes. This is the best yeah. part of the we're fall we're out out here. Out here. Yay! Oh, he's back. Freedom. Oh, There's hope. Oh. Oh. I might have got back in time. I think it's still alive. So he ruined it. the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you made it back in time. It was so much, so exciting, and we didn't know what was going to happen, and then you came back. Butt Cop was even singing that song, Free Fallen. No, I wasn't. I don't even like Tom Petty. <laughs> Is he practicing for Philly karaoke? <laughs> Is he practicing for karaoke night? I love karaoke. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. I'm good. That was so fun, Reed. It was like a wild, wild ride. We didn't know what was going to happen. Dude, dude was the voice of reason in your absence, Reed. Can you believe that? Uh, I don't, I don't believe, believe that. <laughs> I don't believe that. I don't believe that. <laughs> okay. okay. Now you know what Chop's like. <laughs> now I know it's full of something. We just don't know what that full of is. So. That was so fun. That was my favorite part of the stream was when we didn't know what was going on. Well, I'm done cheering because I that was like the whole stream for me. I don't know when Nick left either. Nick must have left at some point. Uh, after uh, Ken popped in, oh, nothing. He just left. No excuses or nothing. He just. Left. No excuse on that. We can, we can blame it on Nick. He broke it. Nick did it. Nick broke it. Y'all agree? Must Nick. have been that and coconut oil, I guess. He probably got coconut oil Rick in his server. Brick Tommy at Larkin. It's a lurker fest. Uh -huh. Oh, Tanya, there's Tanya Tanya here. Here. Tanya is there. Kitten is Miss Brick Kitten Meow. is in the chat. Oh, well, hey, how's it going out there? Dude, dude is the voice of reason, Tanya. Okay. Well, I have to go to bed, so I'll see y'all in the morning. Tonight, I'm just kidding. I'll be at work. No, tomorrow's when I work weekend. Okay. I'll be at Have work. Good day don't, work. Bother, don't bother getting up early because I'll be at work when you sleep in. Mm, sleep in. Sweet. Sleep in. Don't, There's nothing to watch in the morning. Don't drop no paper on your foot. <laughs> I got steel toes. 7,000 pounds of paper can't go through steel toes, right? Paper. Oh, yeah. Toes. 
paper. That's one heck of a paper cut. 7,000 pound paper cut. Yeah, cut them toes right off. That was, yeah, I wouldn't have a foot anymore. You don't need those toes. Overrated. It's just yeah. way I put the paper on a trailer and not on my feet. <laughs> So I can't tell, uh, Ken, is that uh, going to be just a standard engine, just like a standard locomotive? Good night, butt chop. Go away. Yeah, hey, good night. I have to go to bed. Good night, night MJ bed. Bricks. Good night, Tanya uh, and, and Doc and everyone who came came in at the end. Brick Pasta's lurking. Brick Somniac. Now, the whole gang's here, but I got to go to bed because uh, I'm Warry World. <laughs> And my, I'm worn out from my days off because <laughs> I was at work. Good night. Uh, Tanya's confused in the chat. Yeah, I, I, did, I didn't realize I was still, uh, still uh, muted. Muted. Yeah. Like, why is everyone ignoring me? Um. So the big secret here is that I'm using um. The instructions from the Emerald, the Emerald Knight, but I'm making it in red and black instead of green and dark green. Oh, oh I was gonna say that's supposed to be the Emerald Knight. It was like it looked. Yeah, like let's see, that's the Emerald Knight. So, oh, okay. Oh, I can see the front round. Yeah, the round part. Now. Yeah. So I that should be black, I think, according to the color scheme I'm trying to follow. But there's gonna be a lot of uh, color substitutions. Like I have a couple of door rails here that should be black and they're gray so are you so, using are you using like the xl motor or whatever on the inside then too then? yeah yeah that's the plan yeah i have i have one in my uh, storage room here i'll, I'll yeah, take think, it out yeah. yeah i think the emerald light i mean that, they work pretty good i mean i think i've got one floating around somewhere yeah um, that's that's what uh that's what i heard so i figured i'd give it a shot and see how it runs because the problem i'm having right now is my, my i have too many train cars and my tender is too light I think I wore out the train wheels, so um, I, uh, I I wanted to build a better. I've been wanting to build a better engine to begin with, but uh, so actually, uh, Miss Brick Kitten gave me a couple of new train wheels, so I traded her out, and um, so that should hopefully help. I haven't tried it out yet. I should have sent um, my super my super uh, hairy top tender for the show. Yeah, I think that would um, that would work too. If I did a heavier tender, it seemed like when I pushed down on it just barely, it seemed to get traction. Um, but I, I wanted to do this anyway, so I, I, you know, in this, once I, once I looked up the instructions, I'm like, that's, that's exactly what I'm looking for. That's perfect. So it's, yeah, it looks like you guys got all set up today too. Did yeah, we're, we're mostly set up. We're probably, probably about 70, 80% done. There's a few, you know, we need to drop in some buildings and stuff. Cool. I can't, uh, hey. Jerry, test out in the chat. Design around those corners? No, no, I haven't. Um, I don't have. I, I no, no. I'm just kind of. I mean, most of our corners at our shows aren't too bad. They're standard. The Emerald Knight should still could still take them. No, yeah. it's just the how the front is designed on it. It kind of sticks out. Does it? Yeah. So you have yeah, to, I think the I think the only issue I'll have with my build is the um, uh, the train station, the Harry Potter train station. So. Oh, and should I, we get, getting through it or what? No, yeah, just, just getting getting through it, yeah. Yeah, I mean we've had I mean um one of our guys, Will Hata, who used to used to come to a lot of our shows, he had a Emerald Knight and his always worked pretty good. I mean I had mine for a while with the S brick at a couple shows, it worked pretty good. And we don't do anything super radical for turns. I mean as long as there's no, you know, squiggly snaky type sections, we should be it should work pretty good. I think it's nice going through switches is when generally you have the most problem with everything. Mine, mine have like very sharp turns. I can't run that one because of the space allowed. Yeah. For it, it just it I had a more open table where there's nothing on the back side. It's, it's, it's okay. I'm gonna pull up a photo of my build, but I can't figure out how to make it go full screen on Instagram. 
Hey, Keenan, are you oh. watching the chat? Am I watching what? The chat. Um, I have it open, but I'm not actively watching it now. Uh, Miss Brick Kitten said, to, uh, she said, can okay. I can bring you some weights? Wait. <laughs> Weights are always good. So I'm getting there. I mean, the, I mean, you can kind of see the the castle there. I mean, I'm getting there. I've got moat pretty much on three sides right now. It's coming along. I joked. I joked in in the chat there on band saying, "Yeah, I was sitting on my walls today. Too bad I wasn't at a show." Oh, so there's a guy from Chicago that and that right next to us. And yeah. I, I told him to, to I told him to look out for you at the um at uh, Brick World Chicago or whatever it's called. Oh, oh, is he like a big train guy or something? Like a... yeah, he says he, you know, he's, he's just a big. He has a display the size of den lugs, but all by himself. Of what? Of just trains? Trains and town and all kinds of stuff. But but, but Lego or just standard trains? Oh no, all Lego. All Lego. All Lego. Oh, is that big? And he's from Chicago, and he drove all the way out to that show. Yeah. Yeah, he apparently works for the company that puts on the shows, and um, and so he uh, he he, you know, they 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 ship his stuff for him. Basically, he just throws it on the truck. Um, and then he makes that show. Well, there was a guy at the uh, there was a guy at the Madison train show that had a giant huge layout, um, probably about the size of the space that you guys have for that whole show from Kenosha, and that was pretty wild. But 90 percent of it was all set. So oh, okay. Cool. No, his, cool. this guy it seems like a lot of his mock stuff. A lot of mock, yeah. Just take some pictures or whatever, and be kind of cool. Yeah. Just send him through the chat or something of some of his stuff. So is he the is he the other person in the room then, basically? Yeah, no, that that's yeah, that's exactly it. He's he's on the other side of the food court delineation, but the food court's not there. Oh, so he'd be where the food court normally would be then, type thing. Well, he's uh, did, I don't know. Did the food court go all the way to the corner? Because he's over in the corner. Yeah, wherever you weren't at was rest was all food in previous years. Okay. Yeah, so if, you, if he's if he's anywhere on the in the other part of the room then he's probably wherever the food used to be so is the food basically across the hall then basically yeah yeah it's across the hall it looks like yeah so they probably moved it and they figured if you if you guys had lego and he had lego keep it together you know make it you know a little bit you yeah. know and that's you know sometimes i mean i mean he's pretty good about organizing. is cow Lug there again this year too yeah they're they're in the next hallway again oh, okay that's cool Always good. Okay, I mean, so, it's good that they. Now, did Youth and Model Railroaders get back in this year? Um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, so here's here's what I'm what I have on display right now. Well, let me put you on the big screen. Yeah. So, oh yeah, yeah, I think I saw that. Now, is there is there? Do you guys still have a uh, a big layout too, or is it yeah. a bunch of small? No, it's so I have this, and then there's two tracks in addition outside of mine. So like if you're looking at my display, there's actually three rails going past. Oh, okay. I think I saw some pictures. I just didn't yeah. uh, I need to look at it again. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. That's good. So I mean, it's, I, I, it's, I, you know. it's standard curves um, within with two straights in between. So it, the, the Emerald Knight might have trouble going through it, but um, you know, if nothing else, I can just have it a, as a static display. Yeah. I mean, otherwise it might have trouble coming around that corner with the, with the, uh, station that'd be where it probably catch the most yeah so well, i'll give it a try and i mean and i can always i plan to do this for um comic-con or whatever it's called now denver pop culture so i'll um i can always have harry potter yeah yeah and that's all the sets this year whatever that yeah is. That's, that's all the sets so there's two of the quidditch field and then one of everything else there's the one train station the one uh we whomping willow um, there's the, um, the, the carriage is actually from the Fantastic Beast set. Um, and then there's the, the two pieces that make the, make the great hall and the entryway. Um, cool. and, and then all the base and obviously all the ballast track, that's all mine. Yeah. I mean, and that sounds like that was fun ballasting too, I bet, huh? 
Yeah, well, I'd already had all the all the ties done and all the all the major track ballast. I just had to do the base plate part of it, and yeah, that was that was uh, definitely um, entertaining. But it was, you know, it, you know, I just followed the lgauge.org um, instructions, and it was it wasn't really too bad. That's good. Yeah, I have a couple of curves in the back that I still need to finish doing the the wood ballast on, and it's just a matter of finding finding parts to do all that. Yeah, I mean, did we? I mean, well, I thought didn't we put? Didn't somebody put some stuff on the uh, log book? Somebody put a tile. A one was it a one by six? Is that what you need for train, or is it a one by? Oh, I need I need one by ones and one by fours, which I already have because I bought them on Bricklink. Um, oh. The one by six is not really useful for me. What I need in the back here is um, dark bluish gray. I need I think two by four plates. The the corner, the two by two corners. Oh, okay. And, um, the door rails, which I, I have, the one by ones, which I have. Um, I think it's really the corners and the two by fours. And I, I, I have a few. I could I could probably do one or two more sections. Um, it's just, and I, I'm sure I have the rest of my my used Lego. I just haven't finished sorting it. Um, okay. On the on the floor here, I have um, I have about. I don't know, 20 of these shoebox size bins that I need to go through and sort still. So I probably have the parts in there. I just um, haven't, uh, have, I, need to, I just need to get in there and finish sorting. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. Um, this is the, oh crap. I need to look at something because I messed up. I tried to finish the whole thing. Because I'm trying to get one more thing here done. Because actually, the walls now are where all the separation is now. See this, Hoosh? Do what, Luigi? I said, did you see this? Garbage truck. Is that the set that you got that you won? Yeah. I was wanting uh, Hoosh to let Brick Lab know I got it in the truck. So this this is where this is where I'm stuck is I don't have I, I want to do this green um, slope here I want to do it in red and I don't have that much red I don't I don't know if they made that particular part in red. Um. Well, the other thing too is you could maybe use. Well, you know I wonder could you I that I wonder if that's almost that that new or that slow white slope that they had. I almost wonder if it's kind of like that. How thick is that? Is that too? Is it too thick? It looks like it looks like it goes, yeah, to too thick. Um, so I found um, I found these ones. I think these ones would work for it. And I just oh, put yeah. something behind it. No, uh, again, it's a matter of finding finding enough. I mean, I need, I think it calls for 10 of them that are two by four. So the one I'm thinking of is that white slope that they had on the wall that they just had tons of. Yeah, and I think um, I got a ton of that, but it's white. Yeah, here, here they are. Hold on. And actually, cause these guys is what I, I guess I was thinking of, but these actually, how thick is, is it? Two, is it, two, is it, two, it looks like it's two tiles thick on the other side. So it's like two, so it's thick two, so it's too thick. Yeah. It's something like here. Hold on, let me. Uh, so something like maybe this guy. Whoop. This guy here. I uh, might let me make the screen bigger. Um. Yeah. That yeah. That's. That's the. Yeah. So I have I have a couple like that in the red. Um. The one by two. Oh, actually, you know what? we had these on the wall for a while too. The ones that were the two. They were the two thick. They were the same. They were the same thing, but they were the two. Yeah, yeah. So I think the one by two or the two by two. I think either one of those can work. Um, if I can find enough of the right color. Which is the white one. The white one I know they had on the wall in mass quantities, and they might even still be on the wall too. Well, I, I think I think I. Sorry, I, I think I have them. It's just it's white, and I want red. It's what? Well, I I want them in red. Is the problem? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh shoot, I didn't want to do that in red. I want to do that in white, didn't I? Oh, shit. See, I went I went and actually bought a bunch of uh white this last weekend. 
when I was at the, at the Lego store. Not totally what I want to do, but I think it'll work. I think the piles end up, I think the piles end up high. Yeah, I don't, I don't. So, Haley, you still working on your building you've been working on? Yeah, I'm doing the... I finished the high school, and now I'm doing the gym to it. Oh, oh with the stage? Yeah. I got okay. the stage. I'm going to make like a... This is horrifying. Oh. This is horrifying. I made the stage and made the curtain. Oh, that's cool. That'll look good. All the tan down here is going to make it look like a basketball court because it's oh, yeah. sitting in a gym. Y'all want to see something creepy? Sure. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. oh, close your eyes, children. <laughs> oh, gross. That's, that's the creepiest baby I've ever seen. Right. You know, Belleville, baby. Supposed to be cute. Look I mean, at my creepy baby. I caught it. I can grill her. Is that it the Bell, Belleville baby? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's got numbers on its butt. Everything is awesome. Everything is awesome. Oh, Dan Ruff is in the chat, and he actually says the. Two by four surf scope does exist. That's kind of cool to know. This doesn't make it any better. I gotta take a I gotta take a rag of these things, these plates, and clean them. The so lighting will be the next thing I have to invest in for this next year. So that's still on the project. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. It's going to be fun. What? It's going to be fun. What's going to be fun? Lighting. Oh, lighting is always entertaining. No, oh, that those plates did not work very well together. Oh, no, I don't think that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Why do I need a ladder? For what? what? Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Now. Oh. All right, you see him? The, the lamps, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Is, that, or is, the, is the battery pack going to kind of sit underneath some of the. Oh. This, this one will, will sit in one of the buildings. Oh, okay. Is it all the lighting? All the street lights are going to be connected, and then some of the some of the buildings will have it. So all I have to do is just snap them in, and I'm the show. All you all you need now is a, a way to remotely turn it on. Yeah, I think that's. So oh. for the show sake, I'm doing the battery pack, but. Yeah, knock over a wall, and I took out all the. Yep. I don't need to put it on. 
that's, that's at least they didn't wake the ice bears. I knocked over their wall and didn't wake them up. Yeah. That's the first official street to be lit, lit up. That's good. It'll look nice. Here is a ladder. Ready. Oh, my Chromebook's about to die. Oh, that's so fun. And my phone's about to die. What is Are this? Telling me? Lego put this baby in a ladder as a high chair? It worked. Oh, we let me say here. What? So, so apparently, uh, Dan Ruth says that. Uh, uh, it looks like Dunkster Bricks made actually made a video about a red emerald knight at one point. So I'll have to go find that and check it out. Yeah, he does a red oh, one. Hey, he actually, somebody, somebody here in in Wisconsin built a purple one, which is really cool. Oh yeah. I'll have to look and see if I can find that real quick on my phone. So uh so, so Reed, I did find those those slopes in white. I did buy them on the wall apparently when they were there. Yeah. So I'll, I'll do I like like I said in the in the uh in the in the band, I I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna make it so it looks like they're painting the train. I'm just gonna have it off to the side and like it looks like it's under construction. That would be cool. Put it, put it like directly under my gantry or something. See if I can let me see if I can find this one because at one of the meetings, one of the early Denlog or the Wisplog meetings last year, they brought it. I thought it was really cool. I'll have to do too because I, I love purple, so I'll have to make that mod too. Let's see, it might be right in here. Who's this mod? Does anybody know? So there, there it is, and with, with white sides instead. So. <laughs> We'll see. What are you asking? Uh, being painted. Who is this? Huh? Who is Pretty this? Cool. Can't... Too dark. Can't see it. He's all black. Oh, from He's my He's, He's the what? In Enderman. Enderman. I got three. What is it? I'm going to so confused when it comes to this one. You see it, Erica? Oh, she's on the other side of the table. She, she, she can't see it. Oh. I got three of them. Black is from Minecraft. I'm going to go smoke. I'll be right back. I got a character that I want. I wonder if y'all were right. This. <laughs> Do you recognize this guy? No, I don't. <laughs> Mr. The Colonel. Yep, there's Colonel Sanders with his Kentucky Fried Cheese. Oh, I see it. <laughs> hey, Ken, since it didn't show, Ken, since it didn't show up very well on the screen, I sent it to you in band. A picture of that purple emerald. Hop down. Oh, we'll go out here and see. Down. I got a dog in my lap. I got a Minecraft piggy.
trying to think who built it in the group. I want to say maybe Barbara. I don't remember who it was in West Slug. Somebody built it. Hey, has he Are you searching, Ken? Are you uh, searching for that picture or what? Whoop. What's going on outside? Oh, Erica's having problems putting her set together. I could hear her moaning and groaning all the way outside. <laughs> I thought she was a I thought she was a Lego builder. She's not a build Lego sets. This thing is old and it, it's it's not it's just not working, okay? <laughs> it's just not working, Reed. It's Velvet. I think, it's not I think it's user user error. She's, she's having technical difficulties. <laughs> I mean, come on now. You know where the genes come from. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <wow. laughs> That's so nice. She must have been talking about mom. <laughs> I don't think mom's built a Lego since Philip. Uh-oh, watch it. She's going you know, to put that she, does build, she just doesn't build with you because then you guys would get super excited. It'd be like, yeah, we could go on competition shows now. She she builds poly bags with Jackson. And I don't think that, that uh, counts as much as an actual every, every mom knows how to Lego because at one point someone does not put the you know, they have to rebuild them anyways. Yeah, I'm sure that no, was a point. No, she had to build it and fix it. No, no Jackson, she don't, don't know how to build a poly bag once. She's like, Erica! I'm like, what do you want, Mom? And she's like, can you build this for me? And I go, you yelled all the way across the house so I could build Jackson a poly bag? Mom just don't have the patience for that. And she goes, yep. I don't know what sticker it is. Oh, right. What you're saying is we need to do polybag wars competitions for Philly. We should totally do that. Oh, okay. That's okay. I'll, I'll make sure. I'll make sure I uh, have my, uh, my my videos up in up in Madison here, ready to go. The weekend, I'll say, okay, guys, link in. Polybag war. If you're going to teach everybody what, what it means to be in a polybag war, I can just host them back here. Co host them back here. Or I'll be the, I'll be the, uh, I'll be the, uh, the referee, I guess. Is there I'll a referee in polybag war? I'm looking for a black and white striped shirt. Huh? I said, go. see these guys. Like what? Like this? Oh, like I'm this. This, and this. This, and this, and this. This, and this. Oh, one by four. Oh, one by two. I don't know if I can but I mean. Ah! Dad, Lego oh. hates me. You'll be alright. No, it won't. 
the wheel of her. I love them, but they hate me. Use your hair. Oh, wow, that didn't work well. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Your hair? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Love it. I'm not serious. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not funny at all. <laughs> you killing yourself. Yay! <laughs> You're mean. <laughs> Why that doesn't make any sense? Why would you want the wall of your baby's crib where you can't see them from your bed? <laughs> it's Lego. Tell Lego today. I, I'm, I'm going to tell Lego you said that. That's going to give it 20 Lego years. Lego, right? Hey, Lego. Erica. My dad's making fun of Lego. We all do it. No. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do. Hey, who's you about ready to cut some more plates? No. Please don't. No, no. no cut. Slice and dice. Slice no. and dice. No cut. Slice and dice. Yeah. Slice and dice. I'll be back. I'll be back. No cut. No cut. Slice and dice. Hey, trigger your M Lego there. Don't stop. Uh, no, how do you think you realize? <laughs> That there is older Lego sets that require you to cut the base plate, right? That's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's okay. He's going to get to that point in the future where he's going to realize Hoosier was right. It's time to cut some base plates. Hey, in Lego, I had a master Lego builder that used to work for Lego actually tell me that Lego cuts all kinds of bricks. I know. That's how they come up with new bricks. I've cut a base plate once for a project at school or something. Oh, no. Don't do oh. it. Don't Lego, cut. no. 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 He has no reason to. He oh, can no, do no. roads. They're teaching no. at school. Say that again. <laughs> Why don't you just do brick built roads? Because those take up a lot of bricks. Let's see. Not counting the brick. The brick that I have to use to raise the base plate. Then you're adding about another forty dollars for brick brick built road. So it looks nicer. Look here, man. Cut. 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 Oh, no, no. Why did you have to say Better than cutting one. He's going to lecture you, you now. Cut? Flip it around. Show the side. I and as long as I don't watch you cut them. You'll, you'll, you'll never know who that's cut. <laughs> well, exactly. unless, you've unless, watched, you look at it that way. unless you've watched every stream... Uh, and for the last two months, we've just been cutting and cutting and cutting. Oh, who cares? Maybe have, have a bib on. If you get tired of them, send them back to Lego and have them recycle. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, Kiki's, Kiki's saying long stream tonight. I says, well, we used to stream for, actually, what are we at? We're at, we're only at. Three and a half hours right now. We used to go for four or five. All right, listen. We will probably yeah. go post show probably at about eleven, so probably about twenty minutes or so. Well, hey, who's your to Dyson? Even the people in my Belleville set are safe. The baby just has wide open eyes. I can't control that. That, that that video has to be my most po popular video. What? Which one? The Lego slice and dice. No, the midnight slice and dice. Yeah, the midnight slice and dice. I was yeah, watching yeah. it. And I said, How dare you? Everybody started laughing. Dice. 
Hey, uh, nice, huh? hey Louis, I did have an uh, idea how you could, uh, could have done it without cutting them. All right, here we go again. <laughs> well, it, you're cutting them turns out to be the best way. Uh, if you had built up the mills plate to be level so you could have set a whole base plate on top of it, you could have used double sided uh, Scotch sticky tape to stick the, the road plate to it. Yeah. Or crackle. Yeah, it would. No. It, it probably would have eventually came loose. I prefer to cut the uh, cut the row off. Well, I, that's why I like the I do like the strategy, even though everybody doesn't like the curbs of just using the row plate and building it up to the mills at the edges. You know, I, I tried that. I just couldn't. It looks. Well, the thing is, if you use if you use the Lego vehicles that Lego makes for city. Yeah, it still looks crappy. Now, if you use a real Lego vehicle like the Creator ones, probably won't look quite as bad because those are the real vehicles for for a city. And if it's a mock city, you don't want to use their vehicles anyways because the ones for the sets are four or six wide, and you can't even put two vehicle, two people in there. I want stuff to be realistic. So if you're going to do realistic roads, you got to be realistic vehicles with realistic minifigs, and you're good to go. Now, who's you can save a lot of brick on your on your mills plates if you if you left some spaces in between the bricks up under there. That way, in the future, you'd have a space to run wires if you want to light up something. Well, I'm hoping that's not solid, is it? Who's underneath? No. Yeah. I mean, what do you mean by solid? It's not it's like got solid, solid. Right. You got gaps with the supports, right? Support columns and stuff. You yeah, he's have. got yeah. he's got space under the plate, but I mean, in a perimeter wall, he's not got too many gaps in the perimeter. Well, I don't know if, if I you can lights. You can do that. You can change that out later. Yeah, I don't know if I can get into the lights. I'm going cheap as possible without having to buy. And the, the only thing I've changed on my mills is like any of the outer ones that are going to be facing um, like, you know, the outer edges, those are all being redone so that they're actually white. So the base plate's blue or whatever, but everything's white all the way up to the, all the way up to the plate. I even went and bought some Technic one by four bricks so that whatever colors on the outer edge is all the same. So it's yeah, all, my, 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 outer, my outer edge is dark blue, gray. Yeah, so as long as, I mean, that's, and that's what always is good, too, is, I mean, I've had different colored stuff, so it'll add a whole new effect this year when it all matches and looks cool, so. The wind's the show in Nashville, Hoosh. Uh, 30th, 31st? Of what, March? Yeah. Cool. I'm only, I'm driving down one day, dude, Jim. Just one day? One day. What show is it? Rick Universe. Oh. Maybe see, I should probably try and fly down or something. That way I can visit Rick Vibe, too. I think he's going to be out of town that weekend. Oh, I just I just actually just sent him a bunch of poly bags today. He's got... Uh, that's the fifth weekend in March. That means I ain't got to be at the flea market. So, yeah, it's the last uh, weekend in March. So I can I can be there the same day you are. So I can meet you. And it's not. It actually ain't Nashville. It's outside of Nashville. I forget where, where is it? Cool Springs. Huh? Cool Springs. No, I can't remember. I think we're still waiting in Wisconsin. We're still waiting. Oh, see you, see you, see you Tanya. Have a good show tomorrow. Good night, Tanya. You're gonna make me look. Did you? <laughs> well, of course, I wanted to meet you. I'd look, but it'd probably crash my computer again, so I'll pass. Probably save me some postage on some parts. I'm gonna give you. <laughs> it is 
Lebanon, Tennessee. Lebanon, that ain't too far from me. That yeah, that's, that's not too far. It's within an hour's distance. That's probably 30 to 40 minute drive. Yeah, I'll be there a couple hours Saturday morning. And then uh, I'm going to take off and go hang out with Chris for a little while. Yay, me? Oh, yeah, by the way, um, Sunday, March 3rd, a year ago, I met Chris Brick at the Lego store. So it'll be a year ago uh, Sunday that I met him. Cool, cool, cool. By the way, Hoosier, like, I, it was like last week or something when Chris said um, city update in the chat. I had asked him uh, if, when, if he knows when the next time he's doing a city update. So he put city update and then like the crying laughter emoji. No, you never know about that guy, man. Yeah. So that's why he put it. I hope he's not waiting on me to put another video out like the last time I put my second one out. He was, I put my first one out, and he's like, I'm not putting another in until you put one out, and I put another one out. So, Ken, what time are you going to be at the show tomorrow? Um, I'm going to be there probably uh, around 12, 1230. I got to take care of some stuff in the morning first. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, if, if anybody asks, if anybody comes in asking where the clear castle is this year, you'll have to say, well, he's remodeling it and he moved away. So you'll have to check out his, uh, his stream. There we go. Or, or message me and ban and maybe I'll have to start a live stream and I can just shoot some video of the castle right then and there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. So I found a couple of the parts. I'm, uh, I found a couple of the parts I'm looking for just by, um, so a buddy of mine bought, he, he found me a Harry Potter train set. Yeah. Right? And um, right here, there's this hole in it. Yeah. Just, just barely big enough for my finger to get in there. Yeah. And it was, so it's half price. So, you know, I already have it, of course. So I just busted that open and I'm finding all kinds of parts that I need in there. Yeah, actually, I mean, actually, they started reducing around here. I need to look and see if I can find one at a super good price. I wouldn't mind a second one, but. Well, it was a, um, you know, any, anytime Target has damaged sets, they donate to Goodwill, so it was a Goodwill find. Oh, really? I didn't even know that. I'll have to keep my yeah. Eye. Oh, yeah. Yeah. At least around here, that's the case. I'll have to. I'll have to keep an eye out for that. We. Yeah, this is this is coming along pretty quick. This cap would be ready. They put a Lego set inside of a Lego. Set. I did notice I made hey, a mistake on some of my walls. Hey. Hold on, guys. Interesting. I got a new perspective on my castle. And I'm seeing I made made a looks like an error. Obviously, nobody really can probably see. Well, actually, you can see it on the stream. If you look right now, look at the window closest to my portrait on the bottom row. And they, they're a little off. What's up, dude? Dude, I was digging for parts. I was going to say, is uh, Chris going to meet you up there at the show, or I don't know. Or is he... you don't know yet? I'll, I'll I'll message you about it. I'd like to see him again, even though he probably don't like me. But... Here's the, I don't, I haven't asked him yet, and I don't pressure him into anything. Yeah. So when, I ask him, when I ask him, he says no, he says no. Yeah. And then being that I'm going to be by myself and just do a little help, I'll leave the show and just go to his house and knock on the door. To get, yeah. his, get his ass out of bed. <laughs> yeah. Really neat. How are you? That's what friends are for. I'll, I'll just take. I'll 
message you about right. it. You cut out, dude, Jude. I didn't hear a word you said, buddy. Yeah, well, I, I didn't say more. Which I changed my message. You. <laughs> uh, but um, uh, brick vibe. I I know. Uh, his his place is pretty cool. I I was there once, long time ago. Oh, uh, yeah. before it, before it was probably before it was brick vibe. So, because <laughs> I've I work in construction and I've did some stuff down there, and when compared that the. Street address seemed, seemed familiar, and I, I had to go look. And, and I've worked close by there, and I actually went up that street before. I can't remember if I've actually worked in that building or not. Huh. That's probably over twenty years ago. Rick and Bob doing any better? Is he still sick? I don't know, buddy. I haven't spoken. I was on there because last weekend I asked you how he was because I hadn't heard from you. And then the package showed up on Tuesday. So I didn't know if you had talked to him or not. And he's been busy, it sounds like. He, he's been missing his stream lately. So when he's missing his own stream, he's. He's busy, so. Either. Nah, I don't think he's sick. He's just flat out busy. He's, he's, he's got busy. stories on him, so it's kind of, you know. Yeah. Some help. Yeah, keep in mind. Yeah, he has he has people that works for him, but he's still responsible for buying the product, getting the product there. Unless he's got people, you know, out there helping him source it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know nothing about that. No, oh, I, I I I I help find I help look in a little bit here and there. You know, I mean, I don't. I don't have enough money to get my nonprofit off the ground. So, I mean, I, anything I'm finding, I really can't use them all anyways right now anyways. So, yeah. but you know, I mean, he's got stuff I need too. I mean, he's got, he's got these trans black plates. So, I mean, if I can get, I get cheap stuff to help get more stuff for my castle, I'm all about that, you know? Yeah. It's all about, the, it's all about, you know, getting, all right. The phone's going off, man. There he is right there. Oh, it goes up. Huh? Speak to the devil. Did he go see the movie? Did he like the movie? Is he willing to come on here and talk about the movie? <laughs> <gasps> Mom, I don't want to get this far. Well, I, I got my hands full, sweetheart. Uh, Wait, nobody said you don't want to get a window? Well, I think we'll just go ahead and end the live stream for tonight, guys. Okay. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. It kind of slowed down a little bit here for the more. Kind of get everybody right. a little tight. Night, everybody in the chat. Yeah. Have a good night, everybody. Uh, you know, obviously stop back good next night, week. everyone. Always yeah. going to have some stuff going on. And then keep your eyes uh, peeled for May 3rd. That'll be the one-year anniversary. May 3rd is 
May the 4th. No, that's May the 4th. It's May the 4th. Okay, so May 3rd is the day before May. <laughs> Yeah, May the 4th and then Revenge of the 6th. The uh, uh. Uh, yeah. Actually, my birthday's on May the 4th, so. Oh, 